All right. It's finally at that time. It's finally that time. Monkey Monday is coming to sort of an end. Kind of. Not. I mean, it's the last Monkey Monday for this game. I mean, we still have uh, w one more uh, Monkey Island game to play after this, but I, I think it'll be a while before we get to that. Uh, but yes, this will be the last Monkey Monday for a while for Tales of Monkey Island. I'm excited. I'm excited. A, li a, a little, a little sad on the inside, but a little happy on the outside. It's the best of both worlds. How is everyone doing today? Are we ready for more Monkey Monday? Are we ready for more puzzle solving goodness that I will no doubt be succeeding at flawlessly without having to so much as look at a walkthrough because I am so smart? Who knows? Who knows? And if you're a little cheater uh, watching this in the VOD, uh, and then you you scroll all the way towards the end and uh, Comment whether I did or not. Uh, you're a stinky little cheater. And nobody likes you uh, Just kidding anyway, uh, so here's chapter 5 Rise of the pirate god where I am assuming um, that will be me. I'm gonna be god of the pirates uh, one step ahead of monkey D Luffy um, Just as a brief little recap uh, Guybrush died at the end of the last chapter, so um, excited to see us go to pirate hell. Because that's a thing that should exist. Hey, Fluffy P, how you doing? Are you ready for Monkey Monday? Oh, shit. Uh, lady, you gotta clean up your tarot cards. Is that supposed to be? Is, is Guybrush appropriating of someone else's culture? Is that what's going on there? Uh, oh. You, mother? I washed my hands. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, he is very much dead. He is very much dead. This is not what I expected from a Monkey Island game. I will have to admit. I'm doing good. That's good. Dog. I can still like the dog. Hello. Dark in here. Dog, are you friend? Am I gonna yeah, be? Am I, I, <laughs> am I gonna be <laughs> zombie <laughs> guy brush? Is that a thing? Where is all this dirt coming from? Maybe I'll just take some to get it out of the way. Hey, I think I can see some light. Okay, so do I have dirt in my inventory now? Anyone? I think I feel dirt. Uh, let me just grab some more of this dirt. Hey! Oh yeah, there I am. Oh, I'm Ghost, not Zambo. It. It's completely different. I've been different. alive! Again! God, I hate it when that happens. Hey, my hand is back! Uh-oh. Well, this really can't be good. Where am I? Oh shit. It's the fucking grog machine. Oh, that's great. Love that. Oh, can I get some fresh grog? Let's see, we got uh, classic grog, diet grog, cherry grog, ooh. And grog XD. Grog lol random XD, love Don't that. Don't see one of those every day. I want one. Grog XD's hmm. nuts. Nothing. What about cherry? Can I get cherry? Hmm. Nothing. Well, this one looks like it's missing a button. Uh, Diet Grog? Hmm. Nothing. Okay, hear me out. Regular classic Grog. Can't go wrong with classic hmm. Grog. Nothing. Okay, what about new Grog? It has a, a different uh, taste that everyone loves. What about the change button? Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. Looks like this machine what about only takes bills. What about... Oh, God, really? Fine, no Grog for me, I guess. Listen... I just want my tasty, tasty grog. There's gotta be some. Oh, I can enter with something here. Headstone. Dog. R.I.P. Davy, a pirate reporter. His stories were long, but his obit was shorter. Hey, Hiya, dog. Doggy. How's it going? Come here, boy. Can Aww. I pet him? I wonder if he's lost. 
Better take him with me. Put him in Thanks. my pocket. Uh, maybe I should make friends with him first. Ah, what if I can feed you some delicious grog, dog? Would that be satisfactory? Would that notify your needs? I don't know. Ah, I got it. Tasty water. Ew, this water is kind of slimy. Where does it go? The center of the crossroads. Cool, you seem like a very cool and trustworthy guy. Oh, hey, tip jar. Wow. You do pretty good in tips. Do not touch. But I want it. I want it to get myself some grog. Uh, hi there. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, and I think I may be dead. I. Cool. What a great, uh. What a great conversation we're having. Uh. Nice outfit. Nice outfit. I. Wait a minute. It's just start, starting to sound a little familiar. Am I really dead? I... Is it... Is this the fucking Loom guy from the first game? <laughs> Can I ask him about Loom? His boat looks immaculate. You'd never suspect it hauls around dead people all day. Cleanliness is next oh, to okay, godliness. No. He says other things, okay. Oh, do you go there too? I was kind of hoping that, like, somehow the, um, the Ari guy from the first game somehow got promoted to being the Grim Reaper or whatever is going on here. Ari. Have we met before? Nay. Oh, okay. You look familiar. Are you sure we haven't met before? I. Great. What a good conversation. Uh, is this your dog? I found a dog. Is it yours? Nay. Cool. What what is a dog doing down here? Did the movie All Dogs Go to Heaven lie to me? And in fact, not all dogs go to heaven because if so, that's a little fucked up. Uh, what's you the know dog what that doing? dog is doing over what's there? What's the dog doing? Nay. Cool. Uh, take me back to the land of the. Oh wait, no. Why is there a grog machine? Why is there a grog machine in yeah, the afterlife? Tell me about that. For the thirst of eternal waiting. Fair enough. Oh, I just noticed that like his clothes are actually like transparent and you can see like the bones and stuff. That's cool. That's cool. Am I really dead though? Am I really, really dead? I... But like really, really dead. So, I'm completely dead. I... I'm not just mostly dead. I, okay, look, you do still have a tiny shred of life you seem to be hanging on to, but for all intents and purposes, let's just call it dead, dead. Cool, great, thanks for clarifying that. Uh, take me back to the living. Is there any chance you can take me back to the land of the living? Nay. Cool, um, why the fuck not? Uh, where are you going in this boat? To the crossroads. Cool, can we go there? Can we go to the crossroads now? Pay me. How much does it cost? The golden eyes of everlasting sleep. Eyes of everlasting sleep? I have to give you my eyes? Nay. I mean, I know that I'm dead, but I'm still rather attached to my eyes. You do not- Can I still see without them? I'm still really new to this whole being dead thing. It's a metaphor, you philistine! <sighs> Just give me the two gold coins that were placed on your eyes when you were buried. Oh, golden eyes of everlasting sleep. I uh, get it. Okay, got it. But got it. wait, I wasn't buried with any coins. <laughs> was Typical I? pirate. No coins, no crossroads. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna get some- I'll be back when I find some coins. For you. I... Do you accept crypto? If not, then you are incredibly based. That was a test. Okay. Uh, can I go back and see my own grave? That might help things. I'm assuming I'm supposed to get changed for like the grog machine or something. I got dirt. Shred of life. What's this? For some reason, I've been able to cling to this single shred of life. Cool. Can I use that for anything? Probably not. Dirt can't hurt. Okay. Uh, let me go to my old, uh, 
Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Mm, at least they finally got the last name right. Can I inspect it? I don't think I can. For some reason, it won't let me back up. The what of Everlasting Sleep? The eye. Eye and doggy. Come here, boy. J just in case you, you weren't, uh, you weren't uh, aware. Maybe I should make friends with him first. All right. Uh, here, boy. Would you like some dirt? Would you like that some dirt? That doesn't need to be dirtied up. Damn it. Okay, I can't go any further than here. I guess I gotta do something about the grog machine. It's the only other thing that's in here. Can we steal their bones? Listen, I'm, I'm trying a lot of things here. Surprisingly, not a whole lot of options right now. Like, I can't go up here. There's a cracked tube wow. stone. Can I look that at that? boat is almost too clean. Okay, what, what boat? What boat are you talking about, Guybrush? Can I look at... Can I look into this boat? Nice gondola. It's so clean, despite the fact that it's basically moving through a river of ectoplasmic sludge. I... Wait. Do I gotta put some dirt on it? Rub some dirt on that thing. I don't know why I'm doing it, but... I think you missed a spot. Oh. There's a big smudge of filth right there. What? Ugh, oh man, how, how did I get there? Kids. Oh man, oh that's so weird. Oh, okay, anyway, uh, let He's me steal your money. money. In there. I'll just take a little. Man, that was not very hard at all. Thanks, game, for telling me that. Maybe I should turn down like the hint uh, system a bit, but eh, I think it's fine the way it is right now. We'll see. I want grog. Right. Now, what am I thirsty for? I want. Some Grog Lol Random XD. Grog XD. Well, this must be that new high energy grog that all the kids are drinking these days. Yeah, give me that Baja Blast. Which is fine by me. The kerosene and battery acid tend to keep me up at night. Okay, can I get my change? Hey, it made change for me. Hey, there we go. Now I've got coins for the thing. Grab bone and give it to the dog. I don't think that there was a bone for me to interact with. Here really lies Frederick zone. Pirate. Loving husband, devoted father, pillar of the community. Hanged because of a terrible misunderstanding. Oh. Uh -huh. Poor Frederick Pirate. R.I.P. Phineas zone. McDriver, a.k.a. Shark Fightin' Finny, a.k.a. Shark Bait. Died from a bear attack. Damn, that is painfully ironic <laughs> remind me uh what's on your sandwich again ham on right take one for the grim boy <laughs> just steal his bones here lies what's his name may we never forget oh man i love what's his name tomb of oh, wait question mark behold the remains of our dear captain barrett Hecked through the brains by his mutinous parrot. There was a. Here lies here. what's his name. Oh, wait, he no, that's the one that I just read. Okay. All hail Santino, brilliant and brave. A pirate too good to be stuck in a grave. Well, he's not that great if he's stuck in that grave now, is he? Just saying. Can I look at these? It's a turnstile. And apparently death has yet to shed any of the inconveniences of life. Okay. Uh, hey. Would you look at that? I just so happen to have two coins for you. Here you are. Two gold coins. Please take me to the crossroads. I. Please enter the boat single file. While the boat is in motion, you must keep your hands and feet inside the boat at all times. The ferry to the center of the crossroads is not responsible for any belongings left on the boat after departure. All right, I guess I'll come back for that dog later. I missed that dog. But the dog wouldn't let, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be friends with me. So I guess I'll come back later. Uh. Man, this is very, very dark. And I mean that very literally. I cannot see shit. Can I turn out the brightness? I don't even know if, this is, if that's a thing I can even do. I 
I mean, I guess I'll see in a second. Oh shit! <laughs> the boat is decorated with the oh, Murrays! Oh, arrival! Hey! Sorry about that, but without the flash of enlightenment, old Caleb can't get a good exposure. Come, buy a souvenir picture. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any money. Is that so? Well, let's just see what you have on ya. Oi! Indeed, you are broke. Well, when you do get your hands on some cash, which will probably be pretty soon on account of your being a pirate and all, don't forget to come back and purchase this lovely commemorative photo of your very own spirit entering the crossroads. That's fine. Just stay out of my pockets, will ya? Yes, sir. Please don't... Please don't inspect inside my pockets. That's a very big uh, breach of my privacy. Also, Chapter 5, The Rise of the Pirate God. Almost forgot to read for a second because I was too busy trying to think of something to say. Oh. Hello. What's all this then? This must be the center of the crossroads. Yes. This is the point at which every soul must choose their ultimate pirate path. You may choose sword mastery, thievery, or treasure hunter three. How piratey. Damn, can I do all three? I can I can do those things. I'm smart. Oh, I guess I can't go over there. Uh, never mind. Uh, here. Dead tree. I always wondered what it would be like to be dead. I think I expected a bit more pomp, circumstance even. And the crossroads is great and all, but you know, a twenty-one musket salute wouldn't hurt. A chariot. Ooh, pirate chariot. A choir of sirens exalting my name. You know, a little something. Yeah, well, your life isn't all that eventful, uh, Guybrush, apparently. Okay, uh, let me just look real quick to see if I can do something about the brightness. Uh, there's a quality meter, but there's not much else. Yeah, okay. There's, there, there's nothing here I can, uh, fix, I guess. Uh, whoopsie. The game is just how it is. Let's just run with it. I guess I gotta talk to you. That's the only other thing I can do. Excuse me? I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, Dreepwood? Where, uh... Where, where is I? I? Where, where, is where I am, anyway? where is, is... The crossroads are where the physical and spiritual realms meet, and where your journey into the afterlife begins. From here, you can choose your final fate and fulfill your pirate destiny in Phila's Green! Or maybe you'll just mope about like a schlub. Personally, you look a bit like a moper to me. That's a bit rude. I mean, fair, but rude. What are you doing here? You might say I'm a lost soul trying to find my way, but I can't seem to find my guide dog. Ah. I've been here a long time, so if you get lost and need some guidance, you come see me. Hmm. Uh, your dog, you say? Do you know the voodoo lady? Can you be a bit more specific? Maybe a name? I've known a lot of voodoo ladies in my time. I, uh, never got her name. And I guess we never will. She's always just voodoo lady in our hearts. I noticed I have a shred of life in my pocket. Why? Everyone shows up with something that they cling to. You must have thought that staying alive was pretty important for some reason. Well, yeah, I... Me? I brought a corn dog. I love corn dogs. You know what? Good, good on you, buddy. I don't think I've had a corn dog in a... in a while. Not a proper one. I think the last time I had a corn dog, I probably... I, I didn't actually like it. So spongy. Not, not, not for me, man. Not for me. Uh, where's the creepy? Where's Mr. Creepy Boatman? Where did the creepy boatman go? His only job is to ferry arriving souls to the crossroads, where they can choose their eternal destination. Once he's done his job, he'll no longer appear to you. <laughs> me sh sh showing also, up the crossroads with the magic for deck or something. Baby shower. Yeah, and, and me arriving at the crossroads with my uh, GameCube copy of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Has anyone ever been able to return to the land of the living? Nope, never. No, sir. Can't be done. 
Are you sure no one has ever been able to return to the land of the living? Whoever My told Sonic you a thing Makara. like that? Of course Honey, it can be done. Please, what? I have taste. I remember a handsome it would young be pirate the who bat. returned to the land Duh. of the living once, hoping to reunite with his one true love. That's what I need to do. LeChuck, I think his name was. LeChuck? But he came back to life as, in order, a ghost, a zombie, a demon, a living statue, and a killer walrus. I don't want to be any of those. Don't think that true love thing worked out too well for him either. Things started getting awfully crowded around here after he returned to the living. Well, how did the truck escape? He just grabbed himself aboard, caught a gnarly wave, and was out of here. Are you lying to me? What? What did I say? That he surfed his way out. What? No, that'd be stupid! LeChuck returned to the world of the living with a powerful voodoo spell that he obtained from the other side. A spell? Yep. And if there's one thing I know about, it's spells. What happened to the spell LeChuck used to return to the land of the not dead? Some say it is locked away in a vile treasure chest and hidden somewhere in the crossroads. But no one knows for sure. Well, it's been great talking to you, strange old man who kind of smells like olives, but I don't plan on sticking around here in the afterlife. My wife is still alive like out olives? there somewhere. That's like, that's not the you worst thing. Might be you could smell like something worse than olives. When you get there, though. What do you mean? I died like two minutes ago. <whistles> huh? All right, cool. Uh, so we got all that info, I guess. Can I go back? Can I somehow sail my way back? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So I can choose where to go from here. Uh, there's monkey. There's monkey. And then there's monkey. I, I'm assuming that's monkey. Uh, let's do a uh, sword fight first, I guess. Oh, hey! There's my other wife. There's Morgan. We're gonna do monkey combat? No, never again. Please, not on. No. No more of that, please. Morgan? Ahoy, matey! I see another swordsman be coming to challenge me for entrance into an afterlife full of sword play and swashbuckling. Very well. Let's test your wit. Thank goodness you're all right. Hey, I'll be talking oh, yeah, to she, you. Oh, she, yeah. Uh, no, I'm she not was all stabbed right. in the I'm last dead. game. Apparently you are too. Now go away. Well, you'll be happy to know that I obliterated your murderer. You destroyed LeChuck? Uh, what? Death must have scrambled your noggin. LeChuck killed me. DeSinge killed you. Ah, uh, hello. Sword fighter looking for a challenge over here. Sir, DeSinge? get your bowl but cut to wait for a goddamn great. minute, please. My one shot at redeeming myself, and Mr. Mighty Pirate can't be bothered to properly listen to my death rattles. But... And on top of that, he sullies my reputation as a kick-butt pirate hunter by insinuating that I couldn't beat a wimp-wristed, wig-wearing sissy boy like DeSinge with two arms tied behind my back! Sorry? God, I'm depressed. Look, I'm not planning on sticking around this land of the creepy. I got unfinished business with LeChuck, and my wife is still in danger. I'm probably gonna need some help getting out of here, and you are my only friend. Forget it. I'm a worthless, backstabbing traitor with poor communication skills. I don't even deserve to be your friend. No. All you need is to get a little fight back in. No. You. Come on, Girl. grab your sword and no. fight me. No, I won't fight an unarmed man. I be armed. Fight me. Fight me. Well, I'm not done with you yet, lady. I'll be back. <sighs> hey, um, out of sheer curiosity, I'll just wait over here. Then. Can I just like pull the sword out of this man's head? Can I just do that? Me? Mind if I borrow this? Hey, the Chuck stuck that in me for a reason, you know. The Chuck? Aye. He came back after me and me mate stole some gold turtle from him. He chopped off me head and asked me to hold that for him. In your decapitated head? Yeah. Oh, he just wanted to kill me, huh? That'd be my guess. Aye, that makes sense. Yeah, uh... 
listen, Mr. Sword Spider-Man. He's he, he's not the sharpest uh, sword in the in the scabbard, I guess. Uh, does he look familiar? I feel like we've seen th this like model somewhere else with like the mustache and whatnot, but um, I guess it doesn't matter. All right, listen. I have sword. Now, uh, give me. Low. Fine. Yes. Now we're talking. I'm getting in on this action. I died a failure. I used to dream that somebody would call me the greatest pirate hunter in the world. You make me want to puke. Oh, wait. It, it, is this like reverse insult sword fighting? <laughs> uh, don't, don't even say that. I might start vomiting too. I think you did a darn good job. I bet, I bet people say that about you all the time. Uh... Well, I this think one. you did a darn good job. That didn't even make sense. Ha! That'd be a poor insult. What? No, I thought I was talking to the lady. I, even that would have been a better comeback. But it's too late now. I win! But, well, fuck if you! If he's the winner, then I must be the loser. Oh my god. So I have to praise her, but also, like, insult him at the same time? Come on. Why won't you fight me? What's the point? All right. Uh, I, I guess I'll do this again. We're, we're gonna figure this out Stop somehow. Out. Fine. Yes. Sir, I don't. Small I don't want to. Men quiver at my unmistakably masculine. I don't want to deal with you, sir. The way I wave this sword around, it's like I'm a little boy. You are no little boy. Believe me, you're all woman. Believe me, you're all woman. Yay, I did it! My career as a pirate hunter was about as successful as my career as a marathon runner. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? Uh... Your career is brilliant. It's probably because uh, you always back down from a fight. Uh... You run that fast? You run that fast? Oh, yeah, that 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 worked somehow. I'm the most cunning pirate on the seven seas. Do you know what my IQ is, boy? Seriously, on a scale of one to ten, how terrible a person am oh, I? One, one, negative one. If that, negative one. If that. Haha! -ha! I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. You know what? You're right. I was a darn good pirate hunter. Sure, I made a couple of bad decisions, and my enunciations could apparently use some work, but as long as we are both here in the crossroads, I can still make it up to you. We did it! You can't match my witty I, I hit a woman with the I sword, could, and... You could use some breast spray. And, I, and it worked. Wow! I didn't think that you had it in your lass. Now my head and I can move on, and you can be the guardian. You just have to stay here until someone comes and challenges you. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, you deal with that on your time. I'm off to battle on the endless seas of Davy Jones' locker. You know what? I think I will stay here and challenge the weak and unworthy for a while. I knew you had it in you, Mo. Listen, I am sorry for the way I betrayed you. Yeah, that you. is actually like a if pretty there's cool any like, way I can idea. Help you, you have to like just ask. Like compliment one and insult the other in like one go. That's actually really interesting. Hey, you. What's up? Uh, how, 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 how to get out, please? I have an idea how to get out of here. Guybrush, forget it. We're dead. Yeah, but LeChuck was once able to escape using a voodoo spell. I just need to find it. Really? There's a chance I can return to the living world and continue to take down pirates? Present company excluded, of course. Seems that way. Well, if I can help in any way, let me know. Great. Uh, are you sure that Mr. DeCringe didn't kill you? Are you sure it wasn't DeCringe who killed you? He sure acted guilty. Didn't you pay any attention to my dying words? I clearly said, don't trust LeChuck. He's hypnotized a bunch of monkeys and ran me through with my own blade. That's weird. I heard you say, DeCringe is a schmuck. When he got thirsty, he killed me for some lemonade. In my defense, it should be noted that you were coughing up a lot of blood at the time, so something may have gotten lost in the translation. Yeah, because we didn't actually get to hear what she said. 
so, um, you know, you can't entirely blame me for that one. Uh, Did Galen try photo? to sell you a picture of your spirit at the crossroads, too? He tried, but I don't like people taking pictures of me. It's bad for my business. Sounds like he got his camera fixed by the time you got here, though. Okay, so I'm assuming that, um, whatever this voodoo spell is, I'm gonna need, like, a picture? Hey, when you crossed I'm over, I'm, I'm just were assuming. you still clinging to a shred you of life, too? You know what to say about Shred of life? No. It makes an ass. But I guess it makes sense for you, considering everything you left behind. Uh, what was important to you when you were alive? What would you say was the most important thing to you when you were alive? My independence, probably. I liked being my own woman. Still do. Hell yeah. Strong, independent woman who don't need no man. We stand. Don't run off. I don't think I'm allowed to. We stand. Good luck with the sword fighting gig. I'll be back. We love a girl boss get a guest like Gatekeeper. So based. Alright. Uh, so that was it for this whole area, huh? Until I need her later, I guess? Doesn't seem like a lot. Uh, let's do, uh, Thieves Den. Welcome, welcome, fellow thief. You are a thief, aren't you? Of course you are. You wouldn't be here if you weren't, am I right? Bob Ross? Of course I'm a thief. Excellent. Make yourself at home. Feel free to look around. We have many valuable stolen items here. I keep them around as trophies. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, compass thing over there. That's not interactable? Okay. What's hey, in the box? What's in this thing? That? Oh, that's a secret. Oh, what kind of secret? If I knew that, it wouldn't be a secret. I mean, sure, fair enough. This is nice. Well, what's in the box? Where'd you get this from? Ah, that I stole from Captain Bloodbeard himself, just after his crew mutinied and made him walk the plank from the crow's nest. Oh. Ooh, look at all these scrolls. Can Ooh, I have one of these? Scrolls, parchments, and maps. Winslow would be so happy. Peg leg? Can I take a peg leg? How did he manage to steal all of these without the wearers noticing? Sock? What's the deal with this thing? Ah, that's an old one, friend. They say that toe juice encrusted sock was once worn by LeChuck. No, don't call it toe juice. Ugh. The thief who stole it claimed he slipped it right off the zombie pirate's oozing undead foot without being noticed. Funny how he showed up here in the afterlife, still clutching the sock in his fist. Wow. You mind if I uh, steal it? Actually, I'd prefer you just take that one. Where's his it's hands? really starting to stink um, up the place. Is, is, is this ableism, Vicky? Clearly he doesn't need no hands, because he's a strong independent man who don't need no hands. That being said, how did he steal all of this without any hands? That's actually a very good Excuse question. me. What is it, friend? You don't look like a friend when you're looking at me like that. Nah, I'm just curious. Uh, what are all these what things? What are all these things? Those are the things I have stolen from the poor, unsuspecting pirates passing through. What? How? Some real gems there, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that you yeah, said? Yeah, I guess you can't be caught um, red-handed if you don't have anything. any hands. Are you sure? I thought you might have said there was something behind me. There's a three-headed monkey? There is. Well, I'd better turn around and look at it. Why? I don't no. see anything. Secrets over aren't here. meant to be stolen. Oh, he wants me to steal something. This is nice. Where'd you get this from? Ah, that I stole from Captain Bloodbeard himself, just after his crew mutinied and made him walk the plank. So oh, he the wants me to just steal something from him? No. Oh. Did I not I just steal this sock? Here. I feel like this sock was not meant to be for sale. Are you sure you meant behind me? Yeah, what can I steal from him. Maybe if I try a squirt. Yo, some sextants. I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you've got to be moving on. Oh, okay then. 
I can't have this place full of thieves all the time or people will stop coming in, you know what I mean? Well, thank you for being so accommodating. Speak nothing of it, friend. Feel free to come back at a later time. Okay, uh... Am I, uh... What was that? What was that about? Did I do it? Did I succeed? Not really sure what my goal was there. Maybe I should have talked to him more. Since the theme here, the keepers of each path would just uh, want somebody to come and replace them so the challenges are easy. Oh, oh it's a treasure hunter's dream. Maybe. I matey, help yourself. If there was ever a treasure in life you were meant to have, just do some digging and she'll be yours. Cool, can I take your shovel? Can I beat you to death with your own shovel? Oh, that's a lot of X's. Hmm. Hey, Fiera, how's it going? Spot as any. Well, wait, where did I get that from? Yikes! Flying sand, please! Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're a little right, dead. So this is what happened to my cursed pirate parrot of Petaluma after Desinja obliterated it. My god, they've multiplied. Alright, you, can Greetings, I talk to you? Greetings, fellow dead guy. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. My uh, I know who you are. You do? Wow. I knew I was getting pretty famous, but who knew my legend extended into the afterlife? Legend schmidgen. We bumped into each other back on Spoon Isle. Oh, yeah. You were one of the guys trying to beat up LeChuck. How'd that work out for you? You tell me, smart guy. Ooh. Pretty well? I imagine that it went pretty well. I've been told by a marginally reliable Emporium. source that LeChuck may uh, have buried something right. important you know around what? here. You know what? That's, that, that's on me. Ah, Silly me. He should bury himself if he knows what's good for him. So you don't know anything about it? No, but there are a lot of X's here. Hard to tell what's buried where. Hmm. Uh, there sure are a lot of X's. There sure are a lot of X's around here. Well now, aren't we the observant spirit? Were you some sort of scout in your former life, or were your age dulled senses restored to the fullness of youth after you passed away? I'm a mighty pirate. Of course you are. We're all mighty pirates down here, schmuck. And this is the treasure hunter's paradise, with never-ending caches of pirate booty found under each and every X, as far as the eye can see. Wow. Neat. Uh... There's pirate treasure underneath each one of these X's. So let me get this that straight. That's a little excessive, considering that we're dead and can't each use and any of it. every one of these X's? What? You still got grave dirt in your ears? Try it yourself! Okay, uh, I will. Um, but why aren't you digging up some more? What are you doing? Why aren't you digging up more treasure? Yeah, I'm taking a break. Counting up what I have so far. That's probably gonna take you a while, but then again, we are dead, so I guess you have all the time in the world. Can you show me how the treasure hunt works? Sure, why not? A pirate can never have too much treasure. Ah! And now I can seal your shit? Hmm. It's surprisingly light. Huh. Nice treasure pile. Okay, so I took his shit. And now hey, what? Where are you going? Come back! Did I need them for something? Murray? Whew. Thank goodness. Not that I'm scared of Murray. Murray's a punk. You hear that, Murray? You're a punk! Ah! <laughs> hey, Bone! You're still a punk. Conveniently for uh, the dog. Also, don't, don't don't you do Murray uh, dirty like that, okay? Splice the main brace. Another bag of gold. Murray is, you, is, is my special little this. evil man. I miss him. Every day I miss him. All right, well, I guess I may as well do the uh, dog bone thing now that I uh, have this. And I don't know what to do with you yet, so I'll get to you when I get to you. And I can put the dog in my pocket. 
as you can casually do with dogs. That's what they're known for, being so small that you can fit them in your pocket. Oh, wait, can I, can I steal more change? Hey, old He's creepy balls left his tip jar. I'll just hold on to it for safekeeping. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that dude's probably going to look at my inventory again and just steal my shit, but um, who am I to stop him? Really? Hey, wait a minute. Some of my stuff is gone. That two-bit thief robbed me. Pretty smoothly, too. Wait, what did he take? Uh, took something. Apparently. Oh, right, like, the, uh, uh... Franklin. The, hey, boy. You the look hungry. thing that I Want a bone? stole from him. Here you go, boy. Stole it back, Poor apparently. Thing. You should probably come with me. But not the sock? Me. Not really sure what that's about. Hey, wizard! Welcome to the to, to the last chapter. Um, I have a dog in my pocket now. He's fine. If I had the nose of a hound dog, the last place I would want to be is my pocket. I mean, yeah, fair enough. I mean, we store a lot of shit in our pockets. Just even a dirty sock. Pocket dog! Hell yeah. All right. Back to the crossroads and hit the ground running. It makes sense not to live for fun. Your brain is smart, but your head is dumb. It is your dog. This is your dog. I'm gonna assume this that is your dog. That putrid smell is so familiar. Yuck. What? Oh, that's LeChuck's sock. I guess it is pretty rotten. Sorry. But, but what about your dog? Are you missing a dog? I found one who looks lost. Ah, filthy creatures. They make me all itchy. But, but you said, you said that you were missing your dog. Hello. What's on your mind, Threepwood? You said you were missing your dog, did you not? Do you still have the spirit photo? You got any money yet? Do you still have the spirit photo? You got any money? I, yes, I do. Grog dog, dog with, with God with the grog on him. Grog dog, dog with, with the grog dog on him. I think I had a stroke trying to read that. Uh, let's see. I found a dog. Is he yours? I found a lonely dog in another part of the crossroads. Is he yours? Dog? I don't remember ever owning a dog. But you said you did! You said you did! Am I crazy? Am I thinking there's someone else? I'm pretty sure, sure he's the one who not? said that he's missing a dog. Uh, well... Here you go. Here's money. I'd like to buy that spirit photo, please. I think my wife will get a kick out of it once I figure out how to get back to her. How much is it? That should cover it. Enjoy the memories. Thanks for the memories, even if they weren't so great. A photo of my spirit. They say the ethereal camera of the afterlife subtracts 10 pounds. Wow, oh, neat. Okay, so now I have a empty jar. I got some money, a jeweled anchor, a sock, Spirit photo and dog and a shred of life. Okay. I'm not really sure what my uh, goal here is yet. I guess I gotta find the um, the voodoo thing. Open dog. I I did use dog on man and, and he, he didn't really react to it. He didn't really seem to give a shit. Because apparently he he's never owned a dog except that he has, so he's lying. So, I don't know what that's about. Can I use the dog on the X's, maybe? He can sniff out treasure. Go ahead, little guy. Find LeChuck's hidden treasure chest. Hmm. Oh, right. Maybe he doesn't know what he's looking for. Okay, wait. No, hold on. I got it. <laughs> Back into my pocket, you go. Man, I wish you could just do that with Sally. Just pocket my cat everywhere I go. There, there we go. you go, boy. Get a big whiff of this. I think he's got the scent. All right, there we go. Now use it on the. Okay, access. boy. Dig me up a vile-looking treasure chest. When do we meet Manny Calavera? God, if only. Did you get it yet? Hey, where you going? Bad dead dog. 
Did he go into the water? What was that? What happened? What? What happened? I, I guess he's somewhere else now? Treasure, all you can dig. That's nice. That's very nice. Too bad it's spelled wrong though. Um, B minus on that. Uh, but where is the dog? Where did he go? Do I have to find him now? Uh, thieves then? Welcome back, friend. Hello, sir. I guess I'll worry about the dog later. Uh, let me actually talk to you. Excuse me. What is it, friend? I, I, I didn't ask about your hands. Also, you robbed me. What was that hey, about? Hey, the last time I was in here, you robbed me. Aye, of course I did. And you robbed me as well, if I remember correctly. You know what? Fair enough. Ah, Fair enough. you got me. <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch. <laughs> What's a few stolen items amongst thieves, eh? <laughs> Good times. Good times. Ah, <laughs> uh, you funny bitch. Anyway, uh, what, what happened to your hands? What happened to your hands? LeChuck happened to them. Yours? I guess he still right. held a grudge from when we stole the summoning turtle from him when he was human. He came back and slaughtered us all. Okay, so I, I'm seeing a little trend about everyone here being killed by LeChuck at some point. Doesn't having no hands get in the way of your thievery? Not if you're good. I can lift a wallet with my teeth, crack a safe with my toes, and loot an entire treasure hold using just my, uh, cheeks. Ew. Great, I definitely needed to know that. Uh, tell so, me about your thievery What kind of thievery skills? skills do you have? The usual friend. Pickpocketing, lockpicking, safe cracking and creating artificial buying pressure for a generally low trading volume issuer in the over-the-counter securities. All market. inventories are yeah. anuses. Me too. Did you steal everything in here? Most of it, friend. Cool. Uh, neat. Look behind you again. Would I'm you sure mind, there'll uh, be something there. Looking behind you again? There's something behind me, you say? Hmm, better have a look. Uh, do 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 secrets aren't. Do 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 do. You have fun with that. Are you sure you meant behind me? Yoink! I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you have got to be moving on. Oh, okay then. I am I am I using that peg leg for something? Yeah. Oh, next time, friend. Okay, uh... Man, what do I need to do? Let me check over at the sword fight area. Of course it didn't actually take the peg leg. Why would I? I guess I gotta steal something specific from him? Or something or other? Wait, I, let me actually take a look at my spear photo. Does it- A anything? photo of my spirit. They say the ethereal camp. Oh, right. Yeah, we said that already. Um, hey, girl. Do you have any input on this situation? Hey, you. What's up? Uh, how's the sword fighting gig going? How's the sword fighting gig going, Mo? You know, it's not bad. I've already defeated three total posers and one half decent fencer. It's not quite the same Where? thrill I got from being a hired mercenary, but it'll do for now. Where are they? Okay, so like the sword guy is gone, so I guess I gotta do the same thing with the I'll be back. other two. I'll be here. Yeah. Good luck with the sword yeah, fighting. Yeah, game. apparently I'll be back. LeChuck killed her and not the cringe. Good for her though. She's a strong independent woman who don't need no man. Okay, maybe is there something I'm missing at the end? Could the dog be back at the gateway?
The dog is somewhere now. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is he still here? No, he's not. Damn it. Where did the dog go? Guy brushed three foot. Mighty pirate. Wait, was someone implying that I have mites? Oh, I get it. G great Santino! All hail Santino. Brilliant and brave. A pirate too good to be stuck in a grave. Oh, right, we read that already. What about this one? Here lies Ted, a pirate thief. He punched LeChuck and earned his grief. Lost Night's Out has a cute little rhymes, but it doesn't really help me much. Uh, do I need more change? Great! Can I get now, more grog? What am I thirsty for? Give me some cherry flavored grog. Oh, I guess there's no cherry grog. Shoot, that's my second favorite flavor. Right after purple. Oh, man. <laughs> you want purple? Purple is my favorite drink! It's sold out. Oh, wait. Why is the light different now? Mm, cool, refreshing grog on the go. For when you need that extra something to face your day. Oh, cool. I actually have a grog now. Neat. And now they're all lit up. I guess that means that I solved it accidentally without realizing it. Uh, let me look at the grog. grog. How else are you going to ask out the cute wench at the bar? Can I combine it with the jar? Put it in the jar? No. All right. Well, uh, that's enough of that. Oh yeah, wait, I didn't actually get to look at this anchor that I stole. An anchor? I'm not gonna let it hold me down. Hmm. Alright. Well, um, I guess the dog is gone. I don't know where he went. But I guess it's not important if it's not here. Uh, let me go back to do treasure hunting. Put LeChuck in the jar. Damn it. Someone probably would have been into that. Alright. How goes the treasure? I mean, gotta have a, have a good chat with you. Great. Uh. You haven't lost a dog, have you? You haven't lost a dog, have you? A dog? What would a pirate need with a dog? Silly creatures always sliding back and forth on the poop deck, barking while you try to sneak up on your enemy. Who needs them? Now a parrot. That's a good pet for a pirate. Oh, well, I thought you might be using him to find buried treasure. Nah, finding treasure is easy here. Just dig and get rich. Damn, if only if it were that easy. Oh, I, I wonder how you got that hole in your gut. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you wind up with that massive hole in your gut? Mind? Why should I mind relieving the horrifying moment of my demise? Um... That was rhetorical. Oh. As you recall, when me and the boys heard that the infamous demon pirate LeChuck had been turned into a human, we thought we could make our reps by giving him a good pirate thrashing. I remember. Even as a human, LeChuck was too much for you guys. Aye, but I got in a good left hook or two before he got away. So? So, after Captain McGillicutty's unfortunate demise, we decided to start up our own little swashbuckling crew on Spoon Island. Nice place. Lots of fish. What does this all have to do with the hole? I'm getting to it! Sorry. So Get anyway, on with we it, were my right dude. in the middle of procuring Please, really a suitable so much ship time. for pirating, when suddenly, bam! I can only be dead for so long. Cured. I did that. Well, goody for you. Unfortunately, I didn't have long to enjoy my clean bill of health before the evil demon LeChuck sailed up, stuck one of those newfangled Hungarian cannons in me stomach, and pulled the trigger. Guess he remembered that left hook. You know, you could have just said, LeChuck shot me with a cannon. Are you What's so wrong dumb with you a little can't even answer questions? I don't know, are you? Alright. Uh, he killed you with the cannon. That's cool. Um, bye. It's been, um, interesting catching up, but I've got five or six impossible things to do, and I don't have time to listen to you, Kvetch. Fine. More treasure for me. All right, you have fun with that, my dude. I will figure out what to do with you, uh, later. Uh, 
Where is that dog? Oh, there he is! Franklin, there you are! You're supposed to be finding LeChuck's hidden treasure for me. What are you doing here? Oh, such a cute little dog. Is he yours? Um, no. <laughs> what are you hiding, Caleb? More than meets the eye. So, nothing. Here, I'll talk. What? Why, I never! Oh, it's his uh, sock. But you it's do not have the treasure. Sock. So I'll ask you, you'll say no, and or, around we'll go. Or he it's hard to say. Uh, you have the dog barking right at you, buddy. Excuse me? I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, Threepwood? Do you have the treasure? Do you have LeChuck's treasure? Yes. Just as I thought. No. Wait, what? Uh, but Franklin agrees. You're supposed to say no. Then there's no doubt. But that's your thing. Doubt. Puzzling. You're a confuzzling little man. I let Franklin get LeChuck's scent so he could find the treasure, but he came here instead. Hmm, curious. Maybe I am LeChuck. Are you? Nope. Great. This is a very eventful conversation. Uh... Where's the spell? Where were you the last time you saw LeChuck? Where were you the last time you saw LeChuck? Right over there. Just a few steps over there. Not right here. Sigh. Hmm. Okay. What if I show you the sock? Talk to you later. Sure. Why not? Like, hey, uh, Buckaroo. Um, here, here's the, here's the thing that he's been sniffing. Have a whiff of this thing, Fibby McFarfignugan. That's not my name. Hey! That smells like him. Hey, there we go. The Chuck's treasure. Where'd it go, Franklin, you salty dog? Now look, you've sullied the air over there. That's what I smelled right before taking a thump to the head all those years ago. That is one ugly chest. Oh man, it's locked. And I left my hook on my other body. <gasps> now how am I going to get it open? Who could lockpick it for us? Who could lockpick it? Ah, the guy who who specifically thieves for stuff. Welcome back, friend. <laughs> oh, hey, what's this? Do you think you can unlock this completely non-valuable treasure chest for me? There's a worthless slip of paper inside that I really need. Um, I'll let you keep the chest in exchange. Sure, friend. In fact, I already unlocked the chest while you were talking. But I'm afraid it's empty. What? See for yourself. Huh. Hey, what was that? What was what, friend? Well, you just kicked my spell into that pile. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. We'll see about that. Unless... Excuse me. What is it, friend? Oh, man. Uh, th 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 there's something there's behind something, you, buddy. There's uh, something... Ooh, where? Why, I don't see anything over here. Totally unguarded Link. scrolls. I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you've got to be moving on. Oh, okay then. Till next time, friend. Yeah, but I still don't have the I still don't have the thing though. Do I? Yeah, no, I still don't have the thing. Oh wait, I can probably uh Can the dog grab something? Put in the scroll pile, right? So if Excuse I get him to grab what is it, friend? something from the scrolls and then I do something else? Maybe? There's something, uh... Ooh, where? Oh, man, there's something. What? Oh, I, 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 I wanted here. to look for something all my life. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, boy. Are you sure do your you thing. meant behind me? 
Yeah, you totally didn't hear the 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 dog doing his, his uh, things. Um, Swipe. Give me that sextant. Time to go, friend. <laughs> oh, sextant? Right. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Time, friend. Yep. Hell yeah. Do we need the chest though? I guess not. All right. Hey, Caleb. Hello. Huh. Looks like he wandered off. Oh, maybe he's he'll gone. turn up later. Oh, I guess he was part of the quest. I didn't. I didn't know that. Um, dog's not here. Is he over at the treasure thing? Oh yeah, so he is. There you are. Okay, give me the spell. Oh no, what have you done with the spell? Did you bury it here with all the treasure somewhere? Bad Franklin. Bad Franklin, you don't even get to make the actual noise when your subtitles appear on screen. Bad Franklin indeed. Okay. Sock. Dog again? Now that it's here actually here. Here you go, here? boy. Get a big whiff of this. <laughs> now will you actually dig it up? Okay, boy. Do your thing. <laughs> hey, there we go. That's what should have happened the first time. Gotcha. Back in the code for you, you little spell thief. Hell it's the spell yeah. the Chuck used to escape back into the living world. The physical uh, and spiritual oh, realms coexist it, as do night and day. To journey from one to the other, a pirate must know his way. Search around you and within you to find these things, and at the center of the crossroads, present them in a ring. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way, and you must have an anchor. To ensure that you will stay. Okay, I what have that. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come, and a sacrifice in your name that cannot be undone? Hmm. Okay. So I already have an anchor. Center of the crossroads. Present them in a ring. We had a ring when we died. Do I have to find that? Maybe. Or maybe the thief guy has something like that. Uh, journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. Like a map? Gives you courage to face the dangers to come. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Is there the something I can talk to Fantastic. you about? Fantastic! Uh... You haven't lost a dog. Let's just kill you with a cannon. So let's yeah, just sail all the way again, back to Spoon Isle just to kill you with a cannon? No, he didn't stop there. That demonic menace also killed me mates and destroyed most of Spinner K. Cool, great. Oh wait, let me let me actually look at my aims because I feel like I have most of what I need already. I got I got the grog that I needed for something. Grog. Facing the judge just got that much easier. Okay, so that might be actually be for courage. The dog should be guide. So that would actually make sense. What, are, what else did I need? It's the spell that Chuck used to escape back into the living world. Center of the cross. I, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Oh, wait. Oh, the photo might be the ring. Right? It's a, it's a circle. That should count. Right? Maybe? An anchor. I'm not gonna let it hold me down. Okay. Uh... I don't think I need to dig around for treasure anymore. Can Morgan help? We went through the sword fight thing with her so fast that I didn't think I would need anything else from her, but uh, maybe... Maybe she might actually have some kind of hint as to what I'm supposed to do. Now that I actually have hey, the spell. You. 
What's up? Thing. I found a spell. I found a spell that will let me return to the land of the living. Huh? Really? Huh? That's great. How do we use it? First, I need to gather a bunch of ingredients, but I'm having some trouble figuring out what they're supposed to be. Maybe you can help. Maybe. What are the items? Uh, a guide. The journey is confusing. Something must guide your way. Sounds like you need something to point you in the right direction. Like a like like the dog. The dog's been helping. Dogs help. Or maybe you need an actual compass. But I feel like it's Monkey Island. It's going to be much like more like complicated than just like basic needs. An anchor. I must have an anchor to ensure that I will stay. Hmm. I swear I saw something like that over in the treasure hunting area. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I already got that. It was not that hard. Uh, courage. What gives you courage to face the dangers to come? I don't know. What do you pirates use when you stupidly take on insurmountable dangers without an ounce of fear? Grog? Pirates do that? Boy, ah, I need to sextant. learn how they do that. A sacrifice. Part of the spell requires a sacrifice made to me. That sounds pretty complicated. Maybe you should focus on the other ingredients first. Yeah, good idea. Okay, I guess that's enough. Are you still depressed about being dead? Yeah, still depressed about being dead? It's not so bad. I'm not so sure I'm ready to move on, though. Being a guardian for the crossroads and fighting off the weak and unworthy is fun, but I don't think I want to be stuck here for eternity. You know what? Uh, that's fine. Don't run off. I don't think I'm allowed to. Is that really it, though? Hey, you. What's up? All right, yeah. I'll be back. I'll so... be here. Oh man. So I think I have most of what I need already. Frog, dog, anchor. The spirit photo should be able to do something. Is that the last thing that I need? Hey, you. What's up? I found a spell that will let me return to the land of the living. Really? That's great. First, I need... Maybe. Okay. Uh... Sacrifice. I think that's the only thing that I need, right? Or maybe it is a sextant. But see, like... I think I feel like I'm already done with like the thief guy though because I stole his shit. I feel like that should have been the end of that puzzle. I still need something for sacrifice. Why don't you go use the items you've already found first? I'll try to think of something. Okay. So use everything else. Run off. I don't think I'm allowed to. Okay, so do I combine it with the spell? Dog. Spell. No, that's not how that works. Okay. Maybe I gotta be at the crossroads. Good luck with the sword fighting gig. I'll be back. I am so very smart. I am so very smart. Okay. Back at the crossroads. So let me let me actually make sure that like the thief is like actually gone Just to be sure that I'm like done with him Welcome back friend. Oh, yep. I, I guess not Good luck with the pilfering I gotta go come back soon friend Yep, <laughs> it's like hello goodbye back to where it was before Sorry, just made a wrong turn Okay, so the crossroads center. The center of the crossroads. Yeah, this is a pretty neat uh, underworld aesthetic. It's a little dark though. Which, I mean, I, I don't know what I expected. Oh, the shred of life. That's probably the sacrifice. Oh, that would make sense. One bottle of liquid courage. Check. There you go. Dog. Something to find your way. Check. Dog, ah. be sure not to drink the Sit. grog. Stay. Good dog. Are we going to sacrifice the dog? Anchors away. Check. Okay. All I need is a sacrifice in my name. Where the heck am I supposed to find that? 
life? I'm not supposed to sacrifice myself. I think someone else needs to make a sacrifice for me. Are we going to sacrifice Morgan? Nah. I mean, I would hope not. I mean, let, let me just check up on her, you know, just, just, just to be sure. Just to be sure, th th there's no way that we're act that we're sacrificing her, right? No, that would be too dickish of a move. That would be too dickish. Hey, you. What's up? Hey, Mo. I still need one more thing for the crossroads spell. Some kind of sacrifice. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I think I have an idea. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, so, so she has the last thing. I guess we're sacrificing her. Okay, where is this sacrifice? I I don't see anything. Right here. <gasps> whoa, whoa, Her shred whoa. of life. Is that... Is that a good idea? What? No, no, this is just my reputation. I can easily build that back up again. Well, okay. Are you sure? Right. Thank you. <clears throat> well, don't just stand there. Get on with the spell. Of course, the spell. Wait, I don't know what else I'm... No, the dog! No! The dog's been sacrificed! Well, I guess this is it. Seems safe enough. Ladies first. Oh, she can still come hey. with us, okay. Or not? That's weird. I can go through no problem. Oh, heck no. I am not getting stuck in this afterlife. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. You just go on through and take care of your business. I'll figure it out. Okay. Wish me luck. Ah, ah! Damn, I can't believe that we sacrificed a cute girl and a cute dog at the same time. We truly are in the darkest timeline. Bye, doggo cat, stay winning. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> he was just a little guy. Gah! Why won't this thing open? Elaine, get over here and help me. I've spent months getting those mangy voodoo cursed monkeys into place so I could conjure up the entrance to the crossroads. I won't be thwarted now. Oh, come on. I broke your spirit, not your back. Get over here and push. You know, you didn't have to actually kill him. And why not? Do you know the number of times that bony buccaneer has killed me? Look, I mean, but you're I a Zambo. You me and I played along with your stupid nice <laughs> Not anymore, he's I not. I thought that it would be a rush to realize that the voodoo Do lady was... Do not mention that woman in my presence. That cursed voodoo witch will control my fate no more. Now that I have La Esponja Grande, I can use it to suck pure, unlimited voodoo energy directly from the source. I will become the demon pirate god, and you will be my goddess. And this time, there will be no Guybrush Threepwood to spoil our wedding plans. <laughs> what was that? Yes, that's it! Nah, I'm sure it was nothing. Don't worry about it. That's a hell of a throw. Oh no, he's fighting he's fight me now. I ask you what's going on here. I'm you still dead though. Lost. I now have full access to the unlimited voodoo power of the crossroads themselves. This is my moment of ultimate triumph. So, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, would you like to RSVP for the wedding now or later? 
Uh, it won't get away with this, Lechuck. If I ask real nice, will you go away? Look, if I ask real nice, will you go away? I only opened the crossroads to get back to Elaine. You opened the crossroads. <laughs> then I suppose I have to thank you for doing my bidding for a second time. Ah. God damn it. Uh, why don't you just get get the merfolk to, to a, get a Spaja Grande? I, mean, I am better than you! Haha! -ha. Well, you admit, I am better than you. You are the only living soul that can do that, uh, you know. The puzzle solving boy was my face red when la esponja grande turned out to be so small but i am the only person in the world right that can, can that, that can you? fit the the round peg into the square hole the voodoo lady told me about the sponge the voodoo lady wouldn't have tricked me no she would never the voodoo lady the said voodoo lady by the way does anyone know if she has a name it feels weird just calling her Voodoo Lady. Right? It's but weird. I'll be taking care of her soon, too. <laughs> I have infused the Cutlass of Kaflu with demonic power that no mortal can touch. Hmm. This weapon that was designed to destroy me will ultimately set me free when I use it to slay the woman who has locked you and I in this perpetual loop of fate. Isn't that right, Elaine? Yes. yes! And we shall slay her together! Make me your demon bride! What? My demon bride? Kinda gets you all choked up in here, doesn't it? Face it, Threepwood! The Chuck has more power than any pirate could possibly dream of! And besides, you're dead now! Well, so is he! I'm sorry, Guybrush. Well, I mean, I mean, like, human Lechuck is pretty hot. No. Just say, oh, no, she's hot. Oh, no. <laughs> Elaine is mine. And yet here you are, ghost of Guybrush Threepwood, trying to interfere with my big moment with Elaine once again. Well, come on and stop me. Give it your best stab. Oh no, she has the drip. All right, excuse me. Let me just grab this real quick. I want a fancy wedding. Aha! Prepare to meet your. Oh come on. Problem? Why can't I grab anything? That's just one of the side effects of being a fleshless specter. Good thing you are, though. Just one slice of that re-enchanted blade is enough to destroy anything it touches in this mortal world. But I was gonna use that to save you and kill that the Chuck again. That ain't great of a makeover, to be it honest. It's so easy being a ghost but she is now, a isn't it, Mr. Though. Fleetwood? Well, that's how I felt all those years ago, when I was a simple ghost pirate roaming the seas. And now, you are about to know how it felt when you ripped my spiritual essence to shreds when you doused me with that ghost-destroying voodoo root beer. Uh, Lady Pooh? Let's not be hasty. It felt a lot uh -oh. like this. No! The piss! No! <laughs> I've been pissed on by my wife. The irony. Guybrush, what happened? Did you defeat LeChuck? Save your wife? Avenge my death? She... She stabbed me. What? Elaine. She's LeChuck's demon bride. And she zapped me with voodoo root beer. Demon bride? She must be under LeChuck's control. Get back in there and save her! No, she's not. She looked me right in the eyes and then chose him. They're gonna take over the world together. There's a demonic sword involved. It's over. Well, that's good news. Huh? Now you're free to just curl up and enjoy a sad, pathetic eternity in Pirate Afterlife. Of course, I'm not sure if they're still letting whiny schoolgirls in. You'll have to check. Come on, Morgan. Damn, girl! I just lost my wife. So go take her back, Guybrush. Are you a mighty pirate or aren't you? I... 
Look, I know you're not the most fearsome pirate to sail the Seven Seas, but what I've learned about the Guybrush Threepwood that inspired me for my entire life is that there isn't any situation he can't handle. And the one thing I've admired about you throughout our entire adventure together is that you He's never give up on a lane. Trademark. Maybe if I could find a way to use that cutlass. But if I go back, they'll just zap my ghost again. So get your body back. What, just find my body and repossess it? Wait, that sounds kind of familiar. The voodoo lady's locket. Find the locket, ah. find your body. Then bring Hopefully the I'm not already Dambo mode by the time I find and it. And make LeChuck rue the day he decided to mess with Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Yes! I still have no clue what rue means. But it sounded great. So, what are you gonna do? I'm going to go skewer some more sorry ghosts. Maybe practice my pickpocketing. I don't know. Something. Oh my Morgan. god. Morgan, please. Thanks. Value yourself, girl. Please. How many times did you kill a Chuck again? Well, it's been like five games. I mean, I guess technically it's been four times. Wait, no. Three. We didn't kill him in the fourth game, I don't think. Did we? I know we fought giant... Uh... Giant LeChuck statue in the fourth game with monkey combat. Did that kill him? I know the first three games we killed him. I. I. I you know what? I don't, I don't want to remember what happened in Monkey Island 4. <laughs> I don't want to remember. Maybe for the best. Okay. Uh, so what can I do? Caleb? What are you doing over here? Oh. Standing mostly. What's going on with the crossroads? I thought the spell would take me back, not just rip open the spiritual realm. Is there any way to stop it? Yes. I assume you are still carrying around that last shred of life you came here with. If you were to give that up, the rips in the crossroads should close right up. Really? It's as simple as that? Yep. A simple sacrifice of a teensy shred of life and all these rips will seal up good as new, putting everyone in their place for eternity. Of course, you'd be stuck here for good, and LeChuck is probably already powerful enough to destroy every living thing on the planet, so I don't see what good it'd do. So I can close these rips, but then I'll really be stuck here? A pirate's life. Not for me. For eternity. Right. I, I, I got that. I got that. Okay, uh, what do I have? I have more change. I have his sock. I have a photo of me, which I still don't know what I need that for, but apparently I guess I did. I guess I needed that photo for something. Maybe I'll- maybe it'll be for something later. Oh, this is new. Hello? Where's this taking me? Winslow, buddy! Captain Threepwood? Captain on deck! Mr. Winslow? Relax, I'm not the captain anymore. I'm dead. Ah, yes. I thought you looked a bit more wispy than usual, sir. And this is hardly the screaming narwhal. What happened? It was that nasty LeChuck fellow, sir. Ooh, you were right about that one. First, he knocked me off the ship. And then, he kidnapped your lovely wife. And then... Yes? Then he... No, oh, I can hardly say it, sir. He, he pissed you on your wife, someone? sir. Force you to turn on your he family pissed on and your wife. Ones? He took down the map, sir. <gasps> How does one expect to get anywhere without a map? That dastardly bitch! How could he? Oh, monkey. Hello, little monkey. <laughs> I wouldn't, sir. He's still a bit frustrated that we can't agree on the props we need for our new game. Rock, paper... And I say fountain pin. He disagrees and gets rather bitey about it. I feel way sleepier than I expected. I need to get some sleep. Love you, honey. Okay, love you too. 
Sad you couldn't finish M Monkey Monday with us, but hey, tomorrow we're playing the funny lesbian animal game, so look forward to that. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir? What are you doing out here? Sailing, sir. Sailing? Well, rafting at least. Why is there a monkey on your raft? Actually, the raft belongs to the monkey, sir. LeChuck tried to convince your wife that right here was this creature's natural habitat. Between you and me, sir, I dare say that LeChuck wasn't trying to help these poor monkeys at all. Oh, no, you don't say. Oh, wow, that's so crazy. What happened to the narwhal? After LeChuck yes, knocked we, me we off, he simply slurped it uh, this month. Because it's Pride Month, and it's been like over a year. <laughs> and I still haven't beaten it yet. So I feel like now is the appropriate time to actually try to beat that game. That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. Ooh, pile of rocks and this paper. stuff? Those are the pieces I need to play a game I'm inventing called Rock Paper Fountain Pen. Ah, okay, so I guess I need to bring you a fountain pen. Cool. I will look into that. Alright, so I guess I gotta solve puzzles throughout the rip now. Okay, I mean, I guess I can do that. Uh... So does that mean that there's rifts like everywhere? Uh, go to the sword lady? I mean, not sword lady, the uh, sword fight. They seriously just called Morgan the sword lady? Fool tree what crab have you done? People. Ah, talking crabs! Why did you all bend a crossroads? With the barriers shattered, LeChuck is now beyond is all control, mind? plundering voodoo energy directly from the spirit realm. Thanks to you, reality itself could unravel like a cheap rug. Me? What about you, Miss All-Knowing, All-Seeing, Voodoo Puppet Mistressy Person? Why didn't you warn me that LeChuck had nefarious plans for La Esponja Grande? I'm afraid LeChuck made fools of us all this time, Guybrush. But hope is not yet lost. Well, he didn't fool me. Well, he didn't fool me. In fact, I'm already working on a plan to possess my body. So they can't zap me with root beer again when I go back. Yes, the voodoo root beer only affects spiritual manifestations in the physical realm. If you can manage to repossess your body, you may yet be able to use LeChuck's weapon against him. Cool. Oh, you mean the colors of Kaflu? You mean La Sponge Grande? You mean Enchanted Root Beer? You mean <laughs> his face melting halitosis? You mean Enchanted Root Beer? You must figure that out for yourself. Go now. Find your body. Find a way for your spirit to possess it. But remember, rebinding a soul to a body is not as simple as taking yourself over. You're rebelling against the natural state of things, and the universe will push back. Once you have possessed your body, you'll have to find a more permanent way to bind it to your soul. I recommend Mix and Mojo brand Spirit Gum. It can create a powerful spiritual bond that will bring your restless spirit and body together in harmony. It's also delicious. It comes in lemon, cherry, and mutton flavors. Ooh, mutton flavor. I always have some with me. Can you give me some of that spirit gum? I cannot risk coming out of hiding to aid you, Guybrush. But I was chewing some when I was imprisoned back on Flotsam. I may have left some back in the jail cell. Ah. Remember, spirit gum contains some ingredients from the spirit realm, so it retains some ghostly properties. Be careful with it. I must go now, Guybrush. It is too dangerous for me to let my You know, this is pretty gross and all, but it's not nearly as gross Ugh. as the shit that I we had to do in just a phase 3. She's going through. You know, I feel like we've done worse. Like, we, we ripped this, the, the skin off of a dude to make a map, so... You know, I, I think we've done worse. Just saying. Whoa. So gross, though. This whole jumping between realms thing is gonna take some getting used to. Hey you, pipe down. We're in the middle of a pirate wake here. A what? Oh, yup, that's me. This is a pretty disappointing wake. Oh. Yeah, well, LeChuck's oh. killing spree may have hindered the turnout <laughs> a bit. <laughs> My body. And why am I posed like that? It's zany. The customers love it. Oh, I look great ah, for being exactly dead the for way like I remember two you. days. Or however long it's been. 
Yep, that's my body, all right. What is it doing here? This is your wake! We were going to erect a statue in your honor after the pox was cured, but that caused LeChuck to return to pillaging and plundering. Out goes and being people dead. Were calling it's great. To burn your body in effigy instead. I'm dead and loving in it. In the end, we settled somewhere in the middle and decided you'd become our new dartboard. Okay, so anything I can uh, pick up? Well, oh right, I can't pick up anything. I'm, I'm, I'm a ghost. Uh. Well, I'll just talk to them. Yo, with them. Guy. Why not? What do you want, Pipsqueak? Ooh, I'm a ghost. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Aren't you guys scared of me? Well, you weren't very threatening while you were alive, and I'm afraid the new pirate ghost thing isn't helping. Damn it. I tried so hard. So, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I don't want to talk about it. I bet I can guess. Were you pooped out? You were pooped out, weren't you? You took the gross out subway. You dressed up like a throat grub, doing that in the gas in the stomach? You took the gross out subway again, didn't you? Wrong. Now buzz off. Damn it. Do I have to correctly Yo, guess what he guy. did? What do you want? Seriously, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I said I don't want to talk about it. No, no. Let me guess. You were dressed up like a throat grub. You dressed up like a throat grub and snuck out through the blowhole? Manatees don't have blowholes. Plus, that's really stupid. Now leave me alone. Okay, but well, what about... Oh, guy. Hear me out. You... I I'm gonna go ahead and guess. You ignited the gases you in the stomach. You ignited the gases in the stomach, which resulted in a catastrophic explosion destroying everything within a 25-mile radius? And yet, here I am, without a scratch on me. So was I right? You're an idiot. But was I right, Yo, though? You guy. didn't answer the what question. What do you want, Pipsqueak? All right, what happened to the locket? Hey, whatever happened to that locket to Kava had? Probably at the bottom of the ocean with the rest of... Well, it's at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, great. Never mind. Uh, do you have anything insightful to talk about? Captain Threepwood, as I live and breathe! Don't rub it in. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Oh! I forgot about this whole gimmick. <laughs> Geezer. Yeah! Bleh. Yeah! Uh, quit that! You aren't scary! You just oh. screwed up my concentration! That did Root something. Beer. Yikes! I better not stand under that. I don't want it splashing down on me. Oh, but I might want to grab that later. If I even can. Well, at least someone thought to get a nice wreath for my wake. What? So that? long, Nipperkin. Ah, it was brought in as kindling when we decided to burn your body. Oh. Oh, well that... Well, maybe don't do that. The bullseye hasn't seen any action in quite some time. A testament to Judge Grindstump's assassin-like focus. Oh, yeah, there's a really uh, good quality picture of Guy me. Guybrush Threepwood. Mighty... Mighty what? Mighty Duck? Hey, One of the Mighty Pete. Ducks? Hold on a tick! I haven't I've seen that movie. Got my stroke back. Please stop throwing darts at me. Please stop throwing darts at me. What do you care? You're dead. But I need my body. I'm not done with it. Sorry. <laughs> Just be grateful that I'm not a very good shot. Pretty please don't <laughs> stop throwing darts at me. I bet things have been pretty quiet in the old courthouse since I heroically gave my life to cure the pox of LeChuck. It's true! Without that LeChuck and pox voodoo poison coursing through our veins, flotsam citizens have returned to their usual roguish yet not entirely evil ways. LeChuck and pox? Great name. Why didn't I think of that? But with LeChuck on the loose, the crime rate is going through the roof! He did things to poor old crimp digit that we don't even have names for yet! Oh. Hmm, okay. Uh, can I take a drink? Give me a drink, grind stump. I am afraid your bar privileges expired when you did, Threepwood. In your next life, try to settle your debts before you get killed, hmm? Ah, dang it. All right, so I, get, I, I guess I gotta steal that root beer for later at some point. 
with a ghost cup. Why is LeChuck committing undefined acts of evil on the citizens of Flotsam? He thinks we're hiding that voodoo lady, Chippy, and he won't take no ouch stop stabbing me for an answer. Okay, great. Uh, well, talk, talk to you later, later, I guess. I will find out what to do with you um, when I get to that. Oh, can I actually leave? Oh, I can't make the doorknob turn. Stupid ghostly limitations. Can you not just like face through walls? Is that not how ghost works? I mean, I guess not. Yeah, yeah, how stupid of me. Ghosts can't go through walls. They're not fire. All right, uh, treasure hunt? All right, where does this one go? Yeah, I think I, I gotta find out like Hello? where each of these go before- Anyone around? Oh. Oh, we're back at uh, this place. Hmm. Oh shoot, it's too dark to actually see what's in here. So, well, much so for now ghost you powers. can phase through shit. It's like a less consistent Danny Phantom. Ooh, dead seagull feather. I don't even have the bodily strength to lift a feather. Oh, but the shame that the seagull is Lord. dead though. Oh damn. I don't like the way that monkey is looking at me. Huh. Another hypnotized monkey. Well, I don't think I'll be using those to attack any salesmen, so I can just appreciate their luminescence. Flies. Okay. Well, this place has nothing. They could also only throw furniture into comedically over-the-top fashion. Okay, consistency. I'm going ghost, but only some of the time. I'm going semi ghost. Gotta catch small cause he's Gabber Streetwood. Gotta friend. catch small cause he's Gabber Streetwood. Gotta catch small cause he's Gabber Streetwood. Hey, do you have a? Oh, that fire is new. Or is it? I don't know. Do you have a rift in your? Oh, you don't. Huh? Wow! You stole this? Actually, that was I'm already there when I got going. Here. Hmm. Fair enough. Okay. Good so, luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. I guess there's only like three rifts. Oh wait, is there one at the crossroads? Oh wait, no, that's just where it was. Okay, so there's one at the gateway, one at the sword fight, one at the treasure hunt, but there's not one here. I feel like this is supposed to be something, or, or is that just a stoplight? I don't know. I, I think I need like a fountain pen. I don't know where I would get one of those. Let me go back to um, Winslow. Because there might be something else that I didn't get to look at. Maybe I should have looked at the ocean. Maybe the ocean would have had something. Can I go in the water? Ocean. Ocean. Oh, oh, it's that easy. Ocean man, take me by the understand. I think that's what's left of Dukaba's ship. It seems more like a lower case the lady's crossing. Locking. It's stuck up there on that seaweed. Oh. But it looks like it survived another harrowing voyage through a giant Right, dance. I forgot that we were looking for that. Um... Oh, helmet. Can I take that? Looks like Dekava's helmet found its way out of the manatee in one piece. I wonder if Dekava was so lucky. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't think 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 it. Sometimes on my birthday, Elaine wears fishnets. Uh, this being the real world, I still can't touch anything. So this fishnet has to stay here. Damn it. Well, the fact that he has to specify that makes me feel like I can interact with that at some point. Come here, Locket. Come here. It's a ghost. I can't touch it. Maybe I can <laughs> find <laughs> a way to get up to Winslow. 
Damn it. All right. I guess I'll talk Hello? about that later. Swim away. I'll zap you with this eel. Anemone? Guy brush? Hello? Are you Ooh. okay? No. Spinner K has been destroyed. What are you doing in there? What, what is you should be doing? I need get... from him. Oh man, what did he do to you? Nothing Very good yet, question, thank actually. Poseidon. Look, I know Winslow can be a bit forward, and, and like the last not bit. a bit body, but he's got a good heart. No, not sweet Reggie. I mean the chunk. Oh, I see. He destroyed Spinner K. The sails of his undead pirate ship are filled with the winds of the apocalypse. Oh, that's not good. Look, come out and let's talk about this. No, I'm too frightened. Please? I need your help out here. For what? Well, unfortunately, I'm currently a ghost, so I can't touch anything. A ghost? How? What happened? I'll give you one guess. Killed by him! I'll stay in here, thank you, where it's safe. Pretty please? Can I get you to come out? No, I don't trust anyone. Well, maybe Reggie. Wait, <gasps> Winslow? Ah. That salty dog. God Despite damn. Despite our taxonomic Say what you want about Winslow, Winslow, he's got game. Winslow understands me. Huh, wonder how that works, um, logistically. But now I'll never see him again. You and Winslow are you and Winslow? You and Winslow are you and Winslow? I'd never assume he would have me as his life partner, but we have shared our love. Whoa, too much information. And now I'll never see him again. Would you come out for Winslow? Would you come out for Winslow? I or would a venture Winslow out of the snack? safety for a mere sign of my dear Reginald. A mere sign? A mer sign, perhaps? Huh? I'll go see what I can do. <laughs> God damn it. He's not that far away. He's just up there. Winslow isn't too far away. He's come to see me? Uh, sure. I knew what we had was special. I don't know if special is the word I'd use. Where is my Reggie? He's in a raft floating above us. Then why doesn't he come down here and rescue me? It's like a hundred fathoms or something. He'd drown. You're here. I'm special? I'm not I'm certain. also dead. Special is the word I would use. Okay, what was your relationship like? I really want to know more details about your I'm life I'm not together. sure how to say this, but what was your relationship like? It was a rare thing, like a perfectly formed pearl in the mouth of a clam. Out of morbid curiosity, does he get into the water or do you shimmy up on land? <gasps> Forget it. Forget it. If you're so curious, you can find your own Vecalian. Not that any of us would have you. Mm, tempting, but uh, I'll stick with my bipedal plunder bunny. <laughs> you were pretty hot and heavy. Well, why why are there more hot and heavy, huh? this? Weight is negligible underwater. Huh. I think I'm grossed out. Okay, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to Winslow about this. Pearls hap uh, happen to cause, uh, happen because parasites get trapped and coated are the, the same stuff uh, as a clamshell. Neat! Okay, can I get out of here, please? Kyrish, please. For the love of God, man. Keep it in your pants for one second. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Just think of what uh, everything Winslow has done. He was able to protect the Narwhal from theft for years. He's repaired it many times. I can see the teleport to where it needed. Quite skilled. In fact, he's got quite the resume. A Nepomi is hiding in a cave below your raft. What's this? My skill clad steady is but a few leagues beneath my heart. That's right. Ask Anemone to swim to me. Swim to me, my sweetheart! Well, the problem is LeChuck. Anemone's terrified and hiding out until all of this pirate apocalypse mongering blows over. How tragic. Okay. Um... Sign of affection. Perhaps you could drop something down to a stemily? Something to show your um, affection? A capital idea! Perhaps a poem! A haiku, even! I became a master of the haiku while working on the sashimi islands. Whatever, as long as it sinks. Don't you worry. While waiting for the currents to cooperate, I've been working on a game I've entitled Rock, 
paper, pen. Ah, so that's what this. Well, paper that's beats exactly rock. how this works. And then the player must shame the paper into defeat by filling it full of lewd phrases using the pen. Ew. Uh, nothing like a good shaming. Anyway, I have all the materials I need. Do you need know what the word lewd my means? Dear anemone, a haiku. May my sinking stone lift quivering spirits. Okay, great. Uh, that's all for now. All for I now, never Mr. want Winslow. to talk to you again, Winslow. Very good, sir. I mean, I do, but not about this. Boy, this is getting rated again. <laughs> Alright, love letter. It'd be Can I read the haiku? Read someone's personal love letter. Plus, I'm sure it's chock full of more Winslow than I can handle. Alright. Excuse me, madame? Are you or still other? in there, an enemy? As long as LeChuck is still alive, I'll be in here. Thank you. Alright, Winslow dropped a letter. Anemone, Winslow dropped a note down to you. It's sitting right over there. Mi amore. It's a love note. <laughs> I'll be back later. Be careful. Okay, wait, was I supposed to do something else? It's gonna be back later. Up we yeah, go. some very adult humor. Yeah, there's been a bit of that throughout these games. But this is like the most blatant, I guess. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. I did it. Could you use another poem? I think your poem was a hit. I think your poem was a hit. Ah, it is an honor to think I may have brought a bit of peace to a frightened heart. Okay, um, another one? Mr. Winslow, perhaps Appleby could use another poem? Man of my own philosophy. If you wish to lend a lover, you must give the full court press. I just thought it might be nice. Another haiku! Shiny, shimmering, slimy. Okay, but what's the rest of it? It's not a real haiku if I don't know the rest of it. That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, seven, five, seven. Where's the five, seven, five? Yeah, no, it's five seven five. Nope. I mean, nope. What about the clam? Does the clam? Clam. Clam. Oh. Huh. Huh. All right. <laughs> that was all the clam. Oh. Oh! Holy clam bubbles! Oh! Lock it saved! Okay! What? Captain Threefoot, my beloved has sent me a sign! I must prepare myself for our reunion! Mizzens! I haven't smelled this rotten since languishing in my own filth while doing my time in the hold of Captain Liverbottom's traitor ship. What's that? Deodorant, Captain. Bought oh my from God, the apothecary in Woodtick, I believe. Do, do, Winslow, do, do, the locket do, do, isn't do, do, a sign for Anemone. She loved them. your poem, but I, I sent I that locket up bit. here. I can't touch it, but it's the thing that's going to reunite my ghost with my body. Oh, most important then. Most? Well, I'll hang it here as if it were our map. Remember our map, sir? How could I forget? I do Let remember the map. Let lead you back to your body. The way our map has led us to adventure. Wait, wait. We could do some weird shit with the voodoo locket. The voodoo lady's locket transfers spirits to bodies based on which way that little arrow button is pointing. I can't press it though, but I bet Winslow wouldn't mind helping. But we have the spirit photo. I'll just cover up the voodoo lady. Voila. Aha! Mr. Put Winslow? me back in my own yes, body! Sir. Mr. Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that locket for your old captain? Ha 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 ha! 
What is a haiku but a poem about you? At least I think so. I don't remember my body being this cold. Hey! Ah, great jumping gibbets! It's alive! It ain't alive. It's some kind of voodoo zombie. Quick, chop its head off! What? Ooh, wait a second. Don't worry, Your Honor. A good womp in the choppers ought to take care of this one. Oh, God. Uh, bring it on, Book Juice. I'm sure we can talk this out. I'm Guybrush Streepwood. I mean to kill you all. I'm Guybrush Streepwood. I mean to kill you all. Ow. Yo, God damn it. <laughs> all right, sir. I think I just had the spirit knocked out of me. Ah, uh, yes, that would explain the girlish scream, sir. All right, well, God damn it, that Mr. didn't Winslow? work. Yes, sir. Very delayed reaction. Um, I keep getting kicked out of my body. I keep getting kicked out of my body. Perhaps you need a new perspective on the situation, sir. I always find it helps to leave for a while, then maybe come at the problem from a different point of view. Okay. Would you mind uh, pressing press the, the button, button again? Certainly, sir. Pull me back in. Into the matrix I go. Back for another round, zombie boy. Uh, I surrender. I surrender. You do? Terrific! Off to jail with ya! You there, I'll be back shortly. I'm taking this body to the jail. Sure. The ladies come calling, I'll tell them that's where you went. Oh, great. I'm in jail. Again. Oh, it was that easy. Pirate pin up poster. Hey, okay. Can I, can I get a look at that? Is that some kind of poster in there? I can't quite see it from here. Dang! You're looking kind of fine, though, actually. <gasps> the chewed gum! Ew, gross. That other windowsill is covered with chewed gum. That's what I need. That's the thing that I need. Uh, loose brick. Hey, somebody stashed something behind this loose brick. It's a diary. Dear Diary, well, I am in jail. Apparently, I misunderstood when the mer person I met asked if I needed a lift. I assumed that meant I could ride him all the way into town. Anyway, I'm hiding you for now in case they search me. I don't want anyone knowing my personal inner thoughts. Hmm, what else is in here? Dear Diary, I think that any moment now the manatees will start kissing. I hope I can slip out just as he slips the tongue. Ew, I think I've read enough. But what if I want to discover more? What if I want to discover more about his personal life? Also, how do I get out? How do I... How do I leave now? I feel like I've gotten myself at the uh -oh. point of the situation. My body is starting to feel all numb and tingly. I wonder if that's a bad sign. Uh, no, no, uh, Guybrush. You're probably fine. Ew, gross. That other windowsill is covered with chewed gum. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. What happened? Well, I am dead. I don't know, sir. The locket sparked a couple of times, and before I could say sexy fish, you were back here. Sexy fish? Sexy fish? It's an expression, sir. Something I picked up while on my tour of the exotic Limbo Islands. So what you're saying is the effects of the locket are temporary. That does appear to be the case, sir. Well, that's just great. Okay, great. Um... Thanks for that. Oh, can I get your deodorant? Winslow's deodorant. Luckily, my spiritual essence smells of lavender and honey. Well, it seems like I sh should be able to pick this up at some point. Um, because I guess I won't worry about that now. So, Voodoo Lady, you want to talk about that poster of yours? <laughs> Could she be a lesbian icon? Mayhaps. It's wet and slimy. Reminds me of my old pet salamander, Mr. Wiggly. All right, back on the boat. Let's see what else we can do. Um, so my body is in, oh wait, maybe the door is open now in the uh, club. And that, and now maybe I can explore the world out there in ghost form and try to possess my body back. Or something? Hey, 
Oh, no, it's back. I get back here. We came to check on you and found it just laying around. We figured you were dead again, so we just put you back here. <gasps> oh, wait, 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 wait. That was Buckeye's diary. Now we can, <laughs> now, now we know how we Yo, got Buckeye. out. What do you want, Pipsqueak? By sneaking a little tongue with the manatee. You gotta tell me how you got out of the manatee and ended up on Flotsam. What part of don't want to talk about it didn't you understand? No, no, let me guess. You slipped out on the tongue. Hmm, perhaps you waited around until the mating ritual, made your way to the tongue, and escaped when the manatee went in for the kiss. Hey, who told you that? That's private information. And once free from the manatee, you... You entertained a fishing boat? Rode a merperson to Flotsam? Befriended a merperson who you ended up riding all the way to the shores of Flotsam. That's impossible! No one knows about that! Look at me! I'm Bug Eye! I like to get in on manatee makeout sessions and ride merfolk around! Are you mocking me, boy? Oh, he's zooming the face! I gotta do the face thing again, don't I? I do! Oh, wait. Uh, stink, stinky? Hooded? Bugged out? Nasty? I think it's stinky. Lazy eyed? Tweaking? Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, geezer? Monkey? Gomer? Meanie? Arr! Does it look like I'm mocking you? Hey, cat dog, how's it going? <laughs> I'm Big Bad Bug Eye. I keep a girly diary. I wish I had hair so I could put it up in curls. Let's just hey, see how that don't, face don't looks with that. my fist Sky shoved in on. it. Oof. All right, that's enough. I think you need some time to calm down, lad. It's off to the drunk tank for you. And you, don't slime up the place while I'm gone. <laughs> Dumbass. I'll just leave him there until he cools off. All right, so now I can visit him while he's in jail. Yes, I assume yes, I can visit him while he's in jail. Wait, no, but then my body is here. But wait, I can still go there with my dead body. Man, Garbage is kind of a dick. I don't know why he said all that. He was 2009. He's a different person now, I assume. If you ever want to play Sea of Thieves ver ver uh, version of Monkey Island, I'll be down to help you. Oh, I haven't actually played a uh, bunch of Sea of Thieves, actually. I don't think I don't think I've got gotten it to run very well, but maybe nowadays I could. Never actually like really give it like an actual try though, so I don't even know what the game is actually like. I assume it's better if you actually play it with friends. Hey Winslow, buddy, could you press the locket again? Can't touch anything. Little. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Push the button. Would you mind pressing the button again? Push the button, sir. Winslow. You heard that it wasn't like good at launch, but like nowadays. I'll take you down myself. Maybe it's like a bonus. Thing, um, but I really hate zombies. Monkey Island stream. After we do return to Monkey Island, we can do that little uh that little uh, see if these thing. Is that like a free thing or is that like a DLC? I surrender. I surrender. You do. Terrific. Off to jail with you. Hooray! And now we can get the wad of gum. Bug eye. We're neighbors. Shut your cheese hole, zombie boy. You're the reason I'm in here, you know. All right, all right. I'll keep it down. Damn. And the voodoo lady hey, just keeps that, that up in her. A uh, gaping round hole in the wall. In her the cell. Lady because, must have through this. <clears throat> you know. Convenient. Oh, it's completely free. There's also even uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, neat. Ah, uh, sweet lady. Wait, freedom. no, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh. Wait, no, hold on. No, I need the gum. No, we'll come no, back, I sir. Need the, no, I need the gum first. 
Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Would you mind pressing the button again? Push the button. Certainly, sir. Push the button. Push the button. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Here? Really? I'm back. Hold your ground, Durant. Okay, great. I surrender. I surrender. You do? Yes, I do. I do surrender. I need to collect the gum first. I keep forgetting. Oh, there's also this mug. Free Guybrush Threepwood! Free Guybrush Threepwood! No new taxes! Down with porcelain! Hey, lay off the bang in or I'm gonna shove that mug up your blowhole! Free Guybrush Threepwood! Free Guybrush Threepwood! Oh, this just isn't the same. Damn it. Uh -oh. Alright, give me that. I feel no! a new possession give coming me the on. Gum. All right, give me the gum. Give me the gum. Okay. I can't believe I'm actually about to do this. What does it matter? You're already dead. What? what? Oh, disgusting. It tastes like earwax. Nobody told you to mm, nope, that chew on anything. it. Guess that wasn't the spirit gum. Uh-oh. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. You know, every time I pass out in the jail, they haul my body back to the bar and redecorate it. You think I should go back as a ghost and check on my body? Hmm. Yeah. Who knows what strange party favors they'll dress my body up in next. Thanks for the advice, Mr. Winslow. Yeah, Certainly real sad. great advice. Okay, so maybe there is something that I'm missing as ghost form. No rambling tangents unless you pause. I didn't realize that I was that limited, but okay. Alright, boat time! Uh, sword fight. That's where the bar is, right? Yeah. Okay, go back through the rip. Oh, as in, like, ri rip as in rest in peace. <laughs> Gabe, you sneaky. Or rift in peace. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, I hate back. myself. Shh, I be trying to concentrate here. Okay, so I was able to make him make a face at him earlier, so maybe I could do it again. And maybe it'll hey, actually WP? do something this time. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. Uh, boo, ooh, I'm scary. I'm a scary ghost. Uh, I'm going to make the cross-eyed geezer. This one is actually like the most actual creepy face. Yeah, uh, quit that. You aren't scary. You just screwed up my concentration. There we go. Now it's in the mug. I thought I'd grab that. Wait, do I have to surrender again? Oh, wait, no. That only works if I'm in, in the body. Right, okay. Right, that makes sense. Okay. All right, go back. Rest myself again. Now I have the grog. They can pour it on the gum? Something. Okay. Back to the gateway. There's a lot of going back and forth between here. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Don't mind me. You see, I knew I had to uh, pour the grog out for something. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. There's no fast travel when you're dead. Would you no mind slow pressing travel the either. Again? Certainly, sir. Or any travel. Okay. Zap me back. Put that in my pocket. Back. Hold your ground. I surrender. I surrender. You do? Yes, I do. What if I never not surrender? Why don't you just keep me in there for convenience sake? All right. What? Use the bug on the. Let's gum. see how spirit gum reacts to a little root beer. Ooh, that brings back unpleasant memories.
Oh, oh hey, why'd you have to swallow this that? This is delicious and tingly. And hey, keep it down, down over there. Whoa. Now that is spirit gum. Okay, great. Now that I've done that, can I go through the hole now? All right, corpsey body. Let's go get that Cutlass of Kaflu, save Elaine, and take down the Chuck once and for all. Hey, don't you leave me here. Come on, at least give me some gum. You don't, you don't want that gum. Trust me, sir, you do not want that gum. All right, I did it. Aha, I'm back, LeChuck. Now that I have my root beer proof and only slightly rotting body again, I can touch anything I want. So get ready to be touched to death. Sharp, pointy death. Finally. Ouch! How piss you that stings! <laughs> Do you think I'm some kind of dolt, Freepwood? Dolt? This sword now has enough demonic power in it to bring down a god. Did you think we'd let you get your mortal hands on it? Seriously? Yes? Who uses the word dolt anymore? With just one swipe, that sword could completely obliterate your body. I do wish you hadn't made such a pest of yourself. I wanted you alive to see me marry Elaine. I've told you a million times, LeChuck. I'm already married to- death do you part, Freepwood. And that part has already been taken care of. Oh, Elaine, shit, he's got dear, me there. Please dispose of this irritating corpse. With pleasure. Damn, she does- she does rock that dress, though, I will have to say. Elaine, sweetie, stop! It's me! What? What? <gasps> Winslow! You, sir! I found the map! Mr. Winslow! He did it! Wait, how did he get out of jail? How dare you! I have a wedding ceremony to plan, a dress to pick out, a reception to arrange, and some bridesmaids to slaughter. I don't have time for this. Okay, so why pirates? did you willingly become his wife? I liked you better when you were smaller. Why, why did you willingly do that? Smaller. Was this part of your I've plan? I've got to shrink that sponge. <laughs> this is marvelous. You really think you still have a chance? Go ahead, give it your best shot. I'll even give you a head start. Just know this. There is nowhere you can go where I cannot find you. <laughs> Well, damn it. Listen up, Sponge. It's time you lost some weight. I still have my Feast of the Senses spell in my body. I just need to find someone who can help me reverse it. Uh, Caleb? Caleb knows about spells and shit. Can he help? Either that or Morgan. The only two people that would willingly help me. All right, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, stinky Hi, wizard man. Oh, hello again, dry rub. It's Guybrush. That's what I said. Okay. Uh. Are the smaller ribs? Can you help me reverse the spell, please? Can you help me reverse this thing. spell? You said you were a connoisseur of the occult, right? Beast of the senses. Trying to watch your figure, eh, Porky? What? No, it's not for me, obviously. It's for... Don't worry, carnivorous wood. Oh, come on. That doesn't even sound like three foot. Losing weight is easy if you follow a strict diet. Here, try this. No, I don't need a diet. I... Never mind. Hmm. Oh. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather, plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth oh, sense is I know bloated, but fate's not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. Mm, secret! Fight the smell of the after-dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. 
find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Okay, so... Smell. Okay, so the, the, the deodorant we can get from Winslow's Raft. Secret is from the thief store guy. And the bird feather... We went to that island before. What a sight, though. All right, let me, let me just try and see if I can get this while we're here. Because now that I'm a corpse, I, I can I can like grab stuff. So I'll just take his deodorant. Old brute, Better the pirate alternative to bathing. Are you going to find my brother Guybrush Junior? To notice. <laughs> Guybrush Junior, I I I did I was not aware of that. Uh, I guess he gave up on it. That that was your brother. Sorry to hear that. Can I, oh, can I go back into the ocean? Got more stuff? If I can go back down here, then that means... Oh! Helmet! 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 Like Takava's helmet found its way out of the manatee in one piece. I wonder if Takava was so lucky. Okay. Uh, ooh, what about the fishnet? A fishnet woven of the finest meshes. Hey, there we go. I knew that that was there for a reason. Giant manatee bones. To think, my bout of Cyrano-style romance has brought peace to these murky depths. Yep, this was the home of La Esponja Grande. Okay, so now, now I'm actually curious about something. I don't know if it's actually, like, implemented, but, like... Because if we remember, like, the first game, you can only spend, like, ten minutes in the water before dying. Does that apply in this no game, too? pushing seaweed around. I always felt like selling seashells by the seashore was folly. I mean, head inland, far away from where I can find them for free. Hello? Winslow? I just thought you'd like to know that Van Winslow is leading an attack on LeChuck as we speak. Oh, so valiant. I await his triumphant He's dead. Return. No breathing is needed. Ah, you know what? That, that's fair. That is fair. Anyway, uh... I'm voodoo trying spell? to put together a voodoo spell to... You get away from me with that voodoo stuff! What if LeChuck can sense it and it leads him right here? I don't think it works that way. But I'm playing it safe anyway. Uh, he dropped another note. Flo dropped another note. His love overflowing. Oh, he did. He did do that. Um, I don't think that that's... He's got a lot of it to give, I guess. I don't, back later. I, I don't, I don't think careful. that... that uh, uh, I don't think that was, like, actually doing anything, but you know what? It's nice that you got it anyway. I completely forgot about that. I guess I only needed to do it, like, that one time. The Howler Monkey. Forever committed to the salty depths. All right. Up we go! So, we got a net or something. All right, maybe we can check out the other room and stuff. Can I, can I see how I can steal... Uh, Whoa. the secret box? Now that I know that I need it? Wait, do I still have money? I still have money. I could, I could take another thing of grog if I want to, but I don't know which one I need. <gasps> Diet grog! Of course! Of course! Of course. Diet grog! Diet grog! Oh my god. Oh, I think the rest of my bills are too wrinkly for the machine. Oh well. I'm pretty sure everything is sold out anyway. Damn it. Alright, fine. No more grog for me. Would have been too easy. I don't think the diet grog would be all that diet anyway. Yeah, maybe there's more stuff I can grab um, in the overworld now. Like, is he still there? 
Oh yeah, now that my corpse is walking around, he, uh, he's not throwing darts at me. Anything down here? Oh, there's another hypnotized monkey. Hey, it's Jacques the monkey. Hey, little guy. Huh. I wonder why his eyes are all funky again. Dude, he is... He is weeded the fuck out. A keg of grog. If not careful, your diet grog stabs skunky. your brain. Not that anyone would taste the difference. Oh, Murray? I bet nobody calls him the life of the party. Hey -o! Hey! Ah, hey. uh, funny stuff. Funny stuff. Oh, blindfold. There we go. How come there's only one of these? I thought all probationary members had to wear blindfolds. Probationary members? There are no probationary members here. But your bouncer said... Oh, ho, ho, that rock rib. Always good for a laugh. All right. I have that now. So that's two things. Can I explore the... Still on your scavenger Oh, God damn it. Three wood. You can make fun of me and punch me about all you want, LeChuck. You're right. I can. Thanks. Shoot. Oh, it... <laughs> Well, I guess I don't need to go here anymore. How'd you get there so fast? Why are you there so fast? Aren't you gonna be like too busy like marrying my wife? Like, what? What? What is your deal there? Whatever. I got a thing. Okay. Uh, leaves then. Welcome back, friend. How you doing, buddy? Oh wait, maybe I should go for the. Uh... Oh wait. Uh, where where was the rift that had the bird feather in it? Oh, it must have been in the treasure room. Uh, can I steal your secret? So it turns out that I actually need a secret to shrink a giant voodoo sponge. Can I take it? No, you can't even steal it. It has to be shared with you. Okay, share it with me. I don't know, friend. You don't seem like the kind of person I can trust with a secret like this. I sure mean, I, I did am. steal from I you, still but you also stole from me. Waxes her upper lip. Oh, ah, shoot. But you're a thief, friend. Everyone knows you can't trust a thief. But you're also a thief. Excuse me. What is it, friend? Uh, there is, uh, something, uh, behind you. There's something, uh... Ooh, where? Oh, man, I love something. Anyway, this is well, mine now. now. Secrets aren't meant to be here. stolen. But I need to steal it. What do you mean? What do you mean I need to Are steal it? Are you sure it? you meant behind me? Hmm. Can Maybe I? Maybe if I try squinting. Can I bribe you? Nope. Okay. I'm do we need going to use to the ring? Looking for just a little bit longer. No way am I doing anything with around. this ring. Elaine would kill me if anything happened to it. Which is gonna kill you either way, so may as well. All right, I'll I'll deal well, with this later. See? Good luck with the pilfering. You can, gotta go. you can trust Come me because I did not steal friend. the secret. All right. Uh, what was it? Treasure, treasure. Okay. Yeah, let's get the uh, bird feather while we're here. Oh yeah, wasn't there like a whole thing with like the little tiny like parrot things? Tree board. Whoa, Nelly. Oh God! Spirit binding must be messing with my head. Hello, hey, hey, guy voodoo lady! <laughs> you can do that too. I'm sorry, but I must still conceal my whereabouts and communicate through the vessels of nature's works. You picked a dead seagull? A perfect place to go unnoticed. I can't help but think the advantages of flight could be more useful. Am I a zombie? Yes. What the heck am I, anyway? Zombie. I feel one step removed from a zombie. zombie. You are no stranger to the reanimation of corpses. You are now familiar with a form that LeChuck has known so well. So, you're saying I'm a zombie? Defining such states is folly in the realm of voodoo. I'm a zombie. If you insist. Okay, great. Uh, anything I should know about being a zombie? Is there anything else I should know about being a zombie? Are you flush with zombie advice? 
Your true form is not lost. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. But such powerful reanimation is outside of the realm of voodoo. It requires something much more rare. Oh, <gasps> a four-headed monkey? A four-headed monkey? Hmm. But I'm afraid I don't know either. The spirit must be compelled to reconstitute itself. That is all I can share. Dead seagull, really? I'm having a hard time getting over this dead seagull thing. You must realize that oftentimes in life, it is not where the message comes from, but the message itself. But it's gross. Well, it's not the grossest thing that we've done all day, Guyfresh. Come on. I'm sure you've heard by now, but Elaine is a demon bride of LeChuck. Your wife's ways are her own, her fate compelled by unknown forces. Yeah, she's a bit of a loose cannon. For once, I agree with you, Treepwood. Aside from joining my archenemy, I generally appreciate the sass. Be careful, Guybrush. You must make your own choices, for Elaine does not trust in the ways of voodoo. Okay. Uh, great. Still don't know why she did the thing that she did. I... I, d I don't know if it's going all according to Keikaku. Uh... Why? Oh, why can't Morgan use the ribs? I have a semi-voodoo related question. How come when I opened the crossroads, I could pass through, but Morgan couldn't? Maybe you still have some connection to the physical world that you are clinging to. Oh, right. You mean my shred of life? Yeah, that. Then yeah. that means LeChuck kept a shred of life when he died too. Perhaps. Who is to say if the shred was his own? Oh, damn. All right, I guess that... Yeah, yeah, sure, that makes sense. Your ways of voodoo have really done a number on me lately. The ebb and flow of the tides of our suffering cannot be controlled. Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to chap your hide? I am not your enemy, Treepwood. In fact, I have most likely saved you from yourself. Right. Tell that to my shambling mess of a body here. Ever since LeChuck I mean, got a hold a of your diary, he's really guidance. had it in for you. It could, it could the worse. Dread Pirate LeChuck is not one for nuances. You know this guy, Brush. Back on Flotsam, though, he seemed pretty convinced you were evil. What else happened back on Flotsam? Did he not slaughter you and your friend Morgan Le Flay in cold blood? LeChuck is mad as usual. I do not blame him for his anger towards me, or towards you. It is expected and beyond his control. You're saying LeChuck is just being LeChuck? Yes. Okay, great. Why should I believe any of this? Why should I believe any of this? Fine, you don't have to. I'll be going then. Whoa, whoa, you don't have to go. I have said all I can at this time. Good luck, Guybrush. Do not let the forces of ill will or the ignorance of others knock you from your path. Wait, I believe you. Ah, I man. believe. I gotta believe. Like Parappa the Rapper. A feather. A tiny touch. There we go. Gross. Okay, so I got feather. Oh, the chest. Oh, what a surprise. It's locked. Oh, wow. If only we had something to unlock it. Well, it's a dead feather, so I guess it's gross, but not really. Looks like somebody was on their way to a LeChuck dress-up contest. Treepwood! Yeah, stop doing that! In there, you will find some of the things that allowed LeChuck to get so close to your beloved Elaine. What? I don't think I want to look in there anymore. LeChuck's human form was most impressive, but we can all use the help of voodoo from time to time. I think I'm set in the voodoo department. If it's trust you seek, LeChuck's belt should do nicely. Don't you find it strange that LeChuck left this stuff out here in the open? I think he'd want to get rid of it. LeChuck is... careless. The dead bird is not helping me trust her more. Well, what other options do you have, buddy? Oh, Murray? Okay, wait, what, what was that actually? Is that part of my thing? Oh, a belt buckle. It's the belt buckle that Chuck wore when he was human. Funny how a smiling face always seems trustworthy. Even on a skull. 
That is a very trustworthy skull. <laughs> Murray Gold Edition! You fool! I'm always golden! Ha ah. ha I, I can't do the Murray voice. Wizards have been able to do it. Uh, but I cannot. Um... Can you provide more helpful information? How goes the treasure hunt? Fantastic! Great! Uh, I need voodoo ingredients. I'm working on another voodoo spell. Have you seen any of these items around? Oh, do you need some kind of whisper, huh? You know, every now and again, I swear I hear a tiny voice around here saying, It's free! Driver Scrapwood! My trees, try it! Hmm, I thought it might have been old Stan implanting subliminal messages in me head to buy some out-of-season shrubberies. Wait, do I need to capture the, uh, little fly things? Because if so, I have a net. Oh, great. More tiny parrots. I guess since he got atomized into a million bits, there are going to be a lot of these guys. Aha! And I have a net for which to catch them. Oh my god, they're so small. Aha! Now I got you, tiny little parrots. Oh, they're like tiny, annoying, golden mosquitoes. Okay. Uh, let me actually look at the list uh, for what I actually need again, because I need to figure out what to do with these. I'm assuming they're like voice? Like sound? Uh, where was the list? There it is. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Okay, yeah. Sight. Okay. Uh, the blindfold. Small mouth sacks, of intense whisper word. Sound so petite is barely heard. Okay, yeah, so that's, so that's those. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. Delicate feather. Okay, yep. Okay, feather. Six cents is bloated. Find a secret. <gasps> Help tighten the belt. The buckle. Okay. So I guess the buckle is the actual secret. Oh, no, wait, no, I need to trade the secret with the buckle. Maybe. Fight the smell. Okay, so that's the that's the deodorant. Now we need taste. All right, well, see ya. Hey, my parents are leaving. Come on back, little guys! Oh. Ah, uh, well. There are probably plenty more. Oh, uh, wait. I have a jar, right? Oh, I do! Oh, put them in the jar! Right! Oh, okay. Alright, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Put them in the jar. I've always wanted to put Guybrush in the jar. Okay. Alright, got it. Okay. Get the net. Get these little guys. Aha! Now I got you, tiny little parrots. Ah, it's me, Diver Streetwood, Mighty Pirate. Oh, they're like tiny annoying. Okay, got it, got it, okay. Combine into jar. Sorry, guys. I need to keep you in a more contained space than my jacket pockets. Damn, hope they don't, like, slowly die in there like the fireflies did end up. Monkey Island 3, and then I had to make a whole bunch of steps for that. Because that was a lot. Okay, now. Thieves then. Trade the belt buckle. Welcome back, friend. Would you like the sick buckle? Take a look at this. Nice find, friend. Did you steal that yourself? I did. I snatched it right off LeChuck's belt. Hmm. I trust that you did. Oh, that was all it took? What if I told you that I stole this from a three-headed mermaid who had come here from the future riding a giant space turtle? I trust you, friend. If you say it's true, then I believe you. Oh, wow. You were just... You're just gullible as shit. Okay, can I take this now? Nice secret you've got there. Care to share it with me? 
Hmm. Normally I wouldn't trust a thief like yourself, but there is just something about you. Oh, that's just the enchanted voodoo charm talking. What? Oh, nothing. Yeah, don't worry about that. All right, this is mine now. Good luck with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back soon, friend. Okay. Uh, now what? I did everything with the treasure. Something at the bar, maybe? Only bad people would ever lie to a bunny. I trust all my friends. All right, we need bland taste. <gasps> the gum! The gum is bland. Right? Please still take me to the gym. Oh wait, we never checked the bathroom. I don't need to use the facilities right now. Okay, great. Uh. Sir, take me to jail. Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. Uh, I surrender. Take me to jail. I surrender. Take me to jail. For what? For kidnapping my own body. Good enough. Let's go. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> For kidnapping my own body. I've already found the spirit gum, so no. I will not be chewing any more pre malthified gum. Huh. I've already found the spirit. No more of that? Okay. A taste so bland there is nothing to savor. This ABC gum should fit the bill. Oh, there we go. That's disgusting, mm. but it works. I guess I'll head back to the bar. How about a towel, sir? Thanks. Well, thank you, towel man. Really digs. Only slightly worse All for right, wear. I got everything. That's everything, right? Are you sure? Yeah, I got... I got the sound, I got the smell, I got the taste... The secret, right? That pirate everything. thief stole my voodoo trust charm! He's good. <gasps> the bast... The bastard. That bitch! Shh! It's a secret! Wait, can, wait, can I combine them? Smell gum. No. Okay, I think I just need them. Oh wait, oh combine them with a spell maybe. Where's my spell? There we go. Uh Blindfold? No? Really? How do I use them then? Okay, yeah, yeah, maybe I just need to like bring it to the sponge. I think that was the whole point. I throw them at the sponge, not at the scroll. Or whatever. Yeah, all right. Into the hole I go. I'm not going back in there while Elaine is a crazy oh, demon with right. a cursed cutlass. The sponge is right there. I'm gonna have to shrink I, the sponge I, I, first. I forgot that the sponge was here. Okay. Uh, take this. Deodorant. Fight the smell of the after-dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. Fights odor and wetness for the active pirate. And sponges. Okay. Yeah, just throw all the shit in there. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. This blindfold ought to do the trick. There we go. Look at me. Look at us. We're so smart. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Here you go, sponge. Chew on this for a while. Okay. I need to do this with everything. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. Bon voyage, my barely audible buddies. Goodbye. They, he, is, he is now permanently dead forever. Did I need the sock? No. I don't think I needed the sock. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Okay, uh, then I need a secret. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. One sponge shrinking secret coming up. Uh-oh, I 
I hope that's not indigestion. All right, hell yeah, we did it. Man, we are blasting through this compared to the last one. What? Ah, don't you think what you did can't be undone? Elaine will be my demon bride, come hell or high water. Guybrush, how? The voodoo lady, she brought me back. The voodoo lady? Think of all the peril that woman has put you in. You've been blindly led around by her for so long, Guybrush. But without her... Attack, my fishy friends! Hell yeah, war! Let's go, non-binary mer people, let's go! for this. This be going on far too long. Elaine is mine, my demon bride, to make me a kingly breakfast each morning, to see to it that my fortress of evil is kept tidy in case we have guests over to torture, to patch up all my worn out tattered socks, and... Ah! Oh. That's my Laney Poo. You're right, sweetie. He doesn't give you much to work with, does he? Uh oh. Bitch. Um, excuse us a moment, Guybrush. The wifey and I need to have a little private talk. Whoa! God damn it, not again. <laughs> not again. A futile, if admirably treacherous gesture, my buttercup. Even without La Esponja's help, I've already sucked up so much power that I can simply step into the crossroads and take as much voodoo energy as I desire. <laughs> you see, you can temporarily destroy my body, Elaine, but you cannot damage my spirit. Oh, my Hell spirit. yeah, more! <laughs> that, you big, ugly, undead voodoo Hell yeah! <laughs> Oh, Morgan? What, what are you doing here? And where did you get that sword? Look, we can kill a Chuck, but we have to find a way to take him on in both the physical and the spiritual plane at the same time! Do what now? <sighs> Look out! I can do slap her. She's, she's a ghost. <sighs> and again, how can she... But him. Oh, I, I guess he's had a I'll be dead. back Whatever. for you, lass. Let's shock! <laughs> Think of all the times you tried to destroy me. Uh, <laughs> to be fair. Ooh. Ow. All that pain, all that suffering. Now, just imagine what I'm gonna do to you, Freeport! God damn! Oh. Guybrush! <sighs> oh, uh, oh god, I'm in control now. Oh god. Uh, rope. Uh, it's down to the wheelhouse. Lamp oil, rope, bombs, hook, hook, rope. <laughs> Try to fly away, little peepwood. Uh, main and sail. Another sail filled with the ill winds of change. Oh God. Uh, but but now what? Uh, oh, the crossroads rip is just beyond that sail. Hook your way down. Uh, my hook's got better uses than that. Oh, giant cannon. Uh. It's a giant demonic cannon of doom that will be just big enough for me to hide in. Okay, uh, do that. You know oh, what's God damn it. so great about this? Ah, we're both getting our cardio in for the day? The simplicity. It's just you, me, my ship. Elaine. And no voodoo lady. By Blackbeard's boots, I hate that woman. Now I think it's time for you to swap the deck. God damn it. Uh, Elaine, Elaine, help. Elaine! Guy brush? Uh. Uh, can you stop the chuck? 
Oh, we can stop the Chuck, but we have to do it when he's crossing between worlds. Uh, I'll try to lure him across. You stab him with the cutlass. I'll fight tooth and nail for you, Guybrush. Hooray, supportive wife. Okay. Oh, I can't move. I cannot move. Wonder Bunny! Pickaroonie! Light the cannon! I'll light the cannon! Yes, dear! Good, good job. Does you did it. know about Morgan, Guybrush? What? That sultry sea minx had it for Threepwood. Her Corsair sailed for only him. A pity I had to kill her. But now they can kindle their love in hell. Ah! Ow. <sighs> oh, hey, Winslow. Winslow, help. Okay, fire the cannon. That didn't do anything. The sail, filled with the ill winds of... Ah, oh, forget it. All this getting punched in the face is leaving me feeling unmetaphoric. Can I talk to Winslow? Well, I guess not from this angle. I thought I could. Uh... Oh god, I can't move the mouse. Oh god. But Chuck... Oh, you've kidnapped Elaine. You've strung me up in lame traps. Zapped me with a voodoo doll. You've tried to force me to be your undead slave, but never tried to kill me so brazenly. Which is the greatest mistake I ever made. What? Mind the drop. Oh. Ow. God, I'm not doing very great. Uh, Elaine, help. Thunder Bunny. Pick a Rooney. Attack LeChuck. Attack LeChuck. I'm on it, sweetie. Okay, now what? Ooh, okay. A bunch of barrels containing God knows what. Uh, they're locked up tight. Away from limited vintages of grog. We'll crack open the finest over your shriveled corpse. But what if... What if... Hear me out. We <laughs> use the hook. No use. My hook won't fit in the... <gasps> the one time it doesn't work? <laughs> Would you mind inspecting me hull for me? Ooh, full of holes. We should really take her into port. Get a nice mug of grog. Ugh, talk about the good old days. I think today will become my good old days. Oh. Oh, oh, that's no good. Oh, that's not great. Stop it, you monstrous maggot mating ground! <laughs> Elaine, not even you and your flimsy sword can stop me now. Watch me try. Ugh. Hell yeah, just keep stabbing him. I'm sure it'll work. Oh, he's... Murray? <laughs> oh, the keys for the grog. Not every skull is Murray, sadly. <laughs> Did we enjoy our little swim? Oh god, he looks very dead. <sighs> Keeps looking Refreshing. more and more dead. <laughs> you look spent, Swabby. Perhaps you ought to rest a spell. Off to your quarters. Whoa! God damn! I've never seen him being this violent. Usually he just keeps like stabbing my voodoo doll. Just lest that be that. Are these um? Are these supposed to be stuck in the air like that? I don't think that's supposed to be how that looks. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think it's that's so how cute. those uh those are supposed to be. That sword, like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of you barnacle brains? Ah! Oh! Yeah, I don't I don't uh, think they're supposed to be like that. I don't think they're supposed to be there. Or are they? Yeah, no. I think that I think that's actually a graphical glitch. I don't think this is supposed to be that. Or maybe they're in the water? No. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm focusing on that too much. God damn it. Why are you doing this? I'm tired of putting up with you. 
and I just love the sound you make when you hit the deck. Oh. You push it like it's at the end of the first game. Yeah, but like one time. All right, whatever. Lock gate. Get the grog. Quit making a mess. I'm gonna swab my deck with your scraggly excuse for a beard. Okay. Now what? Elaine is doing a better job with that skeleton army than I'm doing with Lechuk. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Again? Again with this? There's nothing more I need with the skeletons. Oh, okay. It just skips right past those. That's nice. Alright, now I'm back here again. Uh, door? <laughs> There's a part of me that imagines LeChuck's cabin with pastel walls. <laughs> it's very, very funny. Uh, door. That's doing something. Oh, uh, 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 barrel. Ah, now it's gonna launch him? It's so cute, watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh! <sighs> okay, maybe I can hook over again. Uh, I think she's a little closer to the, to the cannon than she was before, so maybe I can use it now? Yeah, again, I don't think those shrines are supposed to be there. Uh, oh, so high up. <sighs> My acrobatic skills are waning. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wife, can I talk to you? Wife? And another sail filled with the ill winds of change. Oh, God. Do they need to use something else? How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! Oh god. Uh, wife. Lanykins! 3B! More cannon, uh, please. A little more cannon fire would go great with these multiple concussions. You got it, love! Ah! Yes, see, saw. Launch me! Let's see. Ha. Uh, funny. Impressive display. They ought to call you Guybrush Threefoot, mighty ballerina. Oh. Huh. Not feeling so mighty now, are you? Ah, oh, LeChuck, come on. Stop. Elaine? Elaine? I'll be turning your charred skull into a fine jewelry box for me bride. Oh my god, there's more of this. Oh my god, how much more of this? <sighs> Ah. A sail filled with the ill winds of. Okay, yeah, got it. It was a change. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, um. Move the sail? Can I even do that? Ah, uh, my hook's got. Better uses than Does that. Does it? I guess I gotta wait for him to punch me again to get a better look at the sail. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! Uh, I like mine better. Uh, Alright, seesaw. Let's see. Toss me up again. Huh. I, I guess the hook doesn't help. Really. Trying to blast yourself to safety or blow yourself up in defeat. Oh, so he won't let me do that? 
<laughs> There's a part of me that imagines the char Okay, so, yeah, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Uh, uh hey, light... Lane. Uh, light the cannon. Light the cannon again. I'm on it, sweetie. Okay, now the broken ah. door. Let's see, Saw. Let's see. What is happening? What? Well, I fired the cannon. A sail. Yep, that is indeed a sail. Uh. I always wanted to try this. Oh, there we go. Guy brush three foot. Mighty pile. Ooh. Oh, there we go. That's what ah, I was missing. Who do you think you are? Blackbeard himself? Ah. All right, now I gotta wait till I get to the broken door again. Okay. Got it. Okay, great. God damn it. I know he's a corpse already, but I'm feeling very bad for, <laughs> for Guybrush's body right about now. Okay, yeah, so now, now there's a hole to the thing. Got it. Okay, so I just wait, wait for him. How I can't wait for you to give up and just go away! Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. I can't wait. Alright, now, Elaine. Plunder Bunny! Pick a Rudy! More uh, cannon, please. A little more cannon fire would go great with these multiple concussions. You got it, love! Ah, a seesaw. Right, yes, a seesaw, I see. Very funny. Okay, launch me in there. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> Was that always there? Skybrush! Oh my god, you look terrible! Uh, Thanks the for the reminder. Giving me a bit of the business. Oh, you two can get cozy together. When I'm done giving Threepwood his painful and permanent farewell into the afterlife. Ow! Ah! Oh god. Uh, Morgan. Uh, Morgan. Oh, I can't reach yeah. him. Oh god. Oh god, what do I do? Uh, huh. Shred of Life? Kybrush, what are you doing? It's the only way. What? He did. Yeah. <sighs> you. <gasps> the double butt stab of death. Yes. We did it. We did it. We monkey to the island. We did it. I did it. You guys didn't Is do it shit. Over? But I did it. Hello. Did we win? I guess we did. Hmm. Oh, but well, oh, but now what? Uh, the center of the crossroads. Guess I'm stuck here for good now. Oh. That's Oh no. Oh, what have I done? Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Uh well. I got it. Use the ring. <laughs> sacrifice the ring. Courage, anchor, direction, sacrifice. Place these things in a ring at the center of the crossroads. The wedding ring, of course. Oh, clever. Wow. What a rush! Oh, that just works. Okay! Hey, my hand is back! Oh... Skybrush! Oh, it's about that, time! That, that just worked? It is? Wait, you were expecting me? But I was dead. Is that why you gave me- You should know enough to trust me by now, Guybrush Streetfoot. But you asked LeChuck to make you a demon bride. 
How did you know I would be able to bring you back from that? After all these years and all of our adventures, two things are certain. That I always have a plan, and that Guybrush Threepwood will always come for me when I need him most. <gasps> That's my butter bunny. <laughs> that was your master plan? <laughs> Doesn't sound like it was all good of a plan, but you know. That's my plunder bunny. Yeah, you know what? Let, let's just be nice about well, it. Let's just be nice. Let's not be <laughs> let's not be an gone. asshole like Monkey Island poor guy bros. And you are finally free from whatever fate was planned for you and the Chuck. And that's what this whole Esponja Grande thing has been about, huh? Man. Actually, it's pronounced Esponja with an H sound at the end. Really? But we've all been saying Esponja. Yes, I know. It's been bothering me this whole time. <laughs> I'm just telling you because I don't want you to look silly. Oh, you're going to get it for that. Uh, the true tales of Monkey Island was the friends that we made along the way. And I'm sure that LeChuck will never come back in another game ever again. Anyway, we did it. We did it! We monkeyed the island! Wow! That was the last one. That was the last one, I'm pretty sure. Wait, <laughs> it's the comment section. <laughs> oh, man. That was, that, was, that was good, though. That was good, though. Clearly, there's not a whole other game. Wizard, I've got some news for you. You're gonna want to sit down for this. There is one more Monkey Island game for us to play. Which I will get to eventually, but... Uh... Th there's some other stuff that I think that we should finish up first before we do... The last Monkey Monkey Monday series. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna do it. Give it like a month or two. Uh... I, I feel like it's only fair if we have like a little bit of a break after all of this, uh... Monkeying. And whatnot. I feel like this was like the longest Monkey Island game for us to uh, beat. Um, if not Monkey Island 4. Because Monkey Island 4 just had a lot of bullshit about it. Um, but, I mean, this one had its tough puzzles and all that. But like, they each chapter was like short enough for us to do in one stream. So I guess I can't be like too mad about it. And, if, and again, this was like the 3D Monkey Island game that I feel like was actually done well. The escape from Monkey on it, it, it's just it, it's just a product of its time. I don't think it's like the worst thing in the history of anything ever, but you know. Oh yeah, also see if these uh you know we could also do that, maybe. I do own it. Oh yeah. Yeah, sure, Monkey Monday could could be for other monkey based games like Ape Escape and stuff, but like Monkey Island was special, you know? We all had good times. With the monkeying around and the Donkey Kongs and whatnot. Yeah, um... I mean, there's also other, like, uh, point-and-click adventure games for us to play. Like, uh, Vicky just, uh, gifted me the King's Quest games, which, um... Which is probably gonna be, like, a lot harder than doing Monkey Island stuff. But it is all in, like, one collection, so maybe someday we'll play those as well. Franklin as himself. Good old Franklin. Glad I got to read that. Monkey Island contains two of my top five favorite games of all time. Two and three. Yeah, maybe uh, after we beat Return to Monkey Island, I'll do like a whole like um, ranking of how I like which one. Like so far, I think Monkey Island 2 might be my favorite. I, I, I miss the verbs, honestly. I, I miss, like, the whole verb system. I, I get how they simplified the whole system. It works. You know? But but I, but I miss being able to open cake. Right? I, I miss that. Grim Fandango was great. Yeah, I definitely need, need to play more LucasArts uh, adventure games. I need to play Sam and Max. There's that whole series of games uh, for us to play. I want to play the uh, Humongous Entertainment games at some point. Will we truly ever open Dog? One day. Maybe one day. Yeah. 
I, I really loved Grim Fandango. As, as, as hard as the puzzles were in that game, that felt like a whole journey. And I loved my time with that. And every day, every day, I hope that Grim Fandango gets some sort of continuation. But I know it won't. I know it won't. Let's just go show how much I enjoyed it. Oh, wait, shit. MCU uh, after credits scene. So, my child, have you done as I asked? I have. Now for your end of the deal. Yes. Is that Le your Chuck actions Juice? have influenced your fate. I will allow your ghostly form to return to the physical realm to carry on as a fearsome pirate hunter. Ghost pirate hunter Morgan LaFlay. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Perhaps. You have chosen your own fate. Now go. There is much work to be done before the tides of destiny shift again. <laughs> oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I wonder if that's gonna play into the next game, or if they just have that for the sake of having a cliffhanger. <gasps> SimMax2010.com Oh, dude, no way! There's a Sim and Max game! <laughs> oh my god, I imagine that must have been like a hell of a... hell of a teaser for... <laughs> when you played this in 2009. <gasps> yes, we gotta play Sam and Max at some point. Hell yeah. This has been teaser for Season 3 of the Telltale series. Funny enough, uh, that's the one season that hasn't y yet been re-released. Skunk Cape is working on it, though. Oh, interesting! Okay, so yeah. Definitely gotta play Sam and Max games next. Um, I know that, uh, Lopier Link, like, loves those games, so maybe I'll, uh, see to him, like, which ones I should, uh, stream uh, at some point. You know, aside from, like, all of them. Uh, like, like, the best way to play them. But anyways, yeah, that's been Tales of Monkey Island. Uh, thank you folks so much for, um, coming along with, uh, this little series here. We will do Return to Monkey Island soon. At some point, just not right away. <laughs> let me let me complete some other games that I've been left hanging up forever to dry. Like, uh, for example, tomorrow we're gonna be playing Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Coincidentally, uh, something else that's gay, like the gay detective Sam and Max. Uh, because we gotta finish that up for Pride Month. You know, just because I said so. No one is demanding me of it. In fact, I don't even know how many people still want me to play that game. Uh, but I want to, for my own satisfaction. Yes, a gay video game in Pride Month. And I, I, I want, I want to say if there's, like, other gay games that we could, uh, play this month. Maybe some, like, more, like, a uh, Monster Prom. Uh, I can see if I can get some other friends to play that with me. But, um, you know, that's a problem for future Jesse to, uh, take care of. Uh, but for now, though, thank you so much for, uh, tuning in for, uh, Tales of Monkey Island. I actually had a lot of fun. I I I admit I don't know why I had like such a like a feeling of like oh this is probably not a very good one because uh, like you know, Telltale, was like you know. I I I think I was like thinking more of like late uh era Telltale where they were just like pumping out games for the sake of like having more games and episodes to buy but I forgot like oh yeah this is like pre Walking Dead so I guess it was you know before that time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I would play with, like, uh, Monster Prom with, like, mods and stuff. But, you know. I'm probably gonna cook dinner <laughs> doing sausages. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm gonna ha actually have some food pretty soon, too. So we're gonna go ahead and raid somebody. Um, Toxic is playing Kindergarten. So, I... I think that that's cool. If, if we, um, all go to school together with uh toxic here and learn some new things i'm surprised that i made it through most of that without a walkthrough honestly i played monster prime with friends before it was fun also uh, i was the only one uh not fighting someone over a character <laughs> the only one who got a date lol <laughs> yeah uh i want to play uh the third game uh road trip because i only played that once on stream and um i i i i, I think i originally planned to play it with like other people but um they weren't available, so I was just by myself, and it was really sad. It's a lot more fun with other people. Otherwise, you're just reading a visual novel by yourself. 
But uh, yeah, regardless, um, I'm gonna send you all over to uh, Wazi, our good friend, uh, playing some kindergarten. And uh, yeah, I'll see you folks tomorrow with Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Uh, until then, uh, good night, everybody. Bye bye.